Hello, you lovely ladies and gentlemen. How are you guys doing? Sorry for being a little bit late. Had a couple of last minute things I needed to take care of. How are you guys doing? Let me just make sure everything. There we go. How oh, you doing? Very late as usual. Yeah, I guess that's just how things are now. Hello, Goose. Hello, Sultan. Hello, Dr. Robotnik. Hello, Mew. Hello, Shane. Hello, J. Rogan. Hello, Eloy. Hello, Olympic Spartan. Balls. Hello, Donlot. Hello, Donlot. That was a really fun chapter. Uh, really fun chapter 18 you did on stream there. That was pretty hilarious. Hello, Big Tasty. How are you guys doing? Ah. It's finally here, ladies and gentlemen. It is finally here. Tomb of Horrors! Uh, Tomb of Horrors! Uh, Tomb of Horrors! Everyone saying this is where my runs can end. I disagree. I don't think Tomb of Horrors is that bad. But, ladies and gentlemen, are we ready? Yeah. The Undertaker is in this map. Yes. We're going to break the Undertaker streak, ladies and gentlemen. You have Dawn. I, I won't actually field her in this chapter. That's how confident I am, Monaco. I'm not going to field Dawn in this chapter. After dealing with the slave caravan, Jaka reaches Stixian chap Stixius chap Chapital, <laughs> Quadim. With Kongox watching Darius's every move, the group must be aware. They will pose as mercenaries, working under Darius to deceive the Lich King. If all goes well, they shall move on to the next phase of Darius's plan. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna feel done in this chapter. You heard me! You heard me! Alright, we're finally here. If you value your life, keep quiet. My father has very little trust when it comes to foreigners. Luckily to him, you all look the same, so he won't recognize you. Just play the role of a sellsword and let me do the talking. I can't believe King Kongus treats you like a baby. Do you require permission to do every little thing? I do. It's one of the countless reasons I long for his demise. I feel like a mutt tied to a tree, beaten and emasculated. I see. Let's get in there. My father doesn't like to be kept waiting. Max, when the secret video coming out soon? Lord Father, your son has returned. Mm. That's strange. You brought a foreigner? He stinks of dragon meat and demi-flesh from the north. While I was out and about, I observed some of my men ransacking a caravan. This mercenary's company com company came at a fair price, so I hired him for protection. He was worked he has worked across many borders during his life, so his experience will serve me well. I suppose that is acceptable. You inferior foreign-born. Step forward so this king may smell you. My eyes are feeble. Kick 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 kick. What a wretched lump of meat! Can't this fellow can this fellow truly protect you? His lance looks too small to be of any danger to the enemies he might face. It's not the size of the lance, but how you well you thrust with it. Ha ha ha! Dick joke. Mouthy little shit. You should watch your tongue. People dislike people I dislike tend to turn into my mindless thralls. Apologies, Your Eminence. I spoke out of turn. Good, good. At least you have some manners. Now then, boy, what have you been up to? But father, I traveled east to settle that dispute for you. Those insurrectionists will no longer speak ill of your reign. I have noted the details on this parchment for you to prove. Ha! <laughs> I have no interest in watching my time on reading mundane scribbles. Pass them along to the court harlot. She will relay the details to me. Lady Capri, of course. I've heard whispers regarding Timage. Which Drake won the right to ascend? I paid my respect to the new king in your name, father. Tandaris has taken up Batu's mantle as Timage's leader now. He slew his brother Ilroden in glorious combat. Yes, yes, let those fires fight their wars while they still can. Once I have reached my peak, no border wall will protect the Uda. Your might shall snuff out the light, Lord Father. Of course, my work never ends, so I'll leave again. There's been another revolt in the western cities. Let them burn their own food if they want, mindless peasants. No better than dogs. Of course, Lord Father, but I must quell the protests in your name. Your citizens will learn to fight for you. Take care of the mundane matters, son. I have important matters to attend. And always keep your dear father informed. This will allow you to live a long life. Of course, I take my lead, Lord Father. Who are you giving the random skill to? Caroline. That could have gone worse. I expected father to ask some difficult questions of you. Fortunately, he all but ignored your existence. 
We're lucky our great king hate foreigners. He's based like that. Based? Based on what? Never mind. <sighs> Clock. Let's watch what we say. These howls have ears. Just follow my lead. We will move on in an hour. Where are we headed? To follow my father's orders, of course, mercenary. You lead the way then, Prince. This humble peasant will follow. Dory, you're back! Who's your friend? Ah, Kepri, good to see you too. This man is a mercenary I hired. Name's Jaka, nice to meet you. So, Dory, you already have heading out again? You only just got back! Hmm, you remember that request you had for me? Regarding your father's lost signet? Oh my gosh, Dari, did you find it? But how? He perished in the tomb. <clears throat> I have not found it yet, Lady Kepri. Oh. But that might change soon. Oh? Unless... Dari, you meanie, stop toying with my emotions! Alright, alright. I'm just having a bit of fun with you, love. I will attempt to find Sir Kaios' mi missing signets on the coming days. Then he can finally be at rest. Wait, does that mean you'll be going into the... But that's dangerous! You may take your leave, Capri. Jari, you're such a jerk sometimes. Keep yourself safe in there, alright? I will. Capri, mm -hmm. huh? She's your lover? Capri is one of my loyalists. She's been at my side for years. That wasn't a denial. Oh yeah, my boss loved playing the two-way tango with Lady Capri. She's my informant. Nothing more, nothing less. Devil, Sobman, stop giving this fellow the wrong idea. Methinks the man protects, protests too much, but hey, you do you, Darius. Let's not waste any more time. We have preparations to make. Are your companions ready? Helga and Tendarius are waiting for us outside the city. I thought it prudent they didn't come in here alongside me. That was the right call. A cell sword does not draw much attention. But a dragon king and a harrier? That would have alerted my father. That sure makes me feel insignificant. Sometimes that can be a good thing. Alright. Darius deceives his father well, and so he guides Jaka to a new location. The Tomb of Horrors, an ancient crypt where the dead never sleep. Along the way, Darius explains his plan in full to Jaka and the rest. They must seek out an item capable of weakening his father's vessel. Only in this way will they be able to end his reign of evil for good. The Tomb of Horrors, draw a snare. Ugh, this heat is dreadful. I'm dripping with sweat. Feels fine to me. Compared to Tim Aid, it's nothing much. The Harriers learn how to regulate our body here to survive the cold. Neither hot nor cold weather weather will bother me one bit. Great, I'm the only normal person stuck amongst a bunch of weirdos. No one can relate to my suffering. Look over there, do you see that obelisk in the sand? That's the entrance to the Tomb of Horrors. Seems like a small statue, I nearly overlooked it. The Tomb of Horrors location is not well known by many Styxians. It is the final resting place of the Lich Queen Morganis. I believe you heard her name. Everyone in Andronas, Morganis was the reason for the first Styxian War. The Lightbringers fought for two decades to unseat her from the Styxian throne. My great-grandmother admired Morganis, said she was a wise and mighty ruler. In hindsight, I can understand why. What brought Morganis down was not the Lightbringers, but one of her own advisors. He crafted an amulet and gifted it to her, but he was cursed and made her vulnerable. That's the reason we are going into her tomb, but we are going to recover that amulet. I somehow doubt we are just going to walk in and fetch it. There's always a catch. Naturally. The music is a bit loud? Really? I think the music is loud? I think it's as loud as it normally is. Yeah, 50. I hear sounds in the distance. When living creatures come here, the dead awakens to greet them. So, you say this amulet can weaken King Kangas down here? It's the only option if we want to kill the bastard for good. The only way to kill a lich for good is by breaking his phylactery. Unfortunately, I have no idea where my father hid his. If we kill him, won't he simply revive? Morganis amulet is an artifact set to weaken a phylactery. If we land a killing blow while holding the amulet, it should keep Kangas down for much longer. He will eventually arise again, but I'll have time to prepare countermeasures. Perhaps 10, 20, or 100 years. That's a pretty big window of opportunity. It will be my problem to deal with in due time. Alright, let's get moving. This place gives me the shivers. Me as well. Alright. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Tomb of Horrors. So who am I bringing to the Tomb of Horrors? I have to bring Varg. I've done battle preparations before stream started. We got Jaka, Varg, Haley, Lilanette, Caroline, Halfdan, Helga, Tendaris, Ash, Natalie... 
Sari and Bjarki. And I'm I'm benching Dawn, Aisha, and Theodore. Yes! Uh, why are deployments not so low on this map? Because it's a dungeon crawler, that's why. Oh yeah. Your toasts? Hot dog and Kashi donated two bucks. I have faith in you, Manx. You will not game over. Thank you. Carl Philip Gabler donated five bucks. What's the next step of your master plan, Darius? Crashing this Iron Man with no survivors. <laughs> That's great. Gormick donated two bucks. Is there a breakable obelisk? You know why I ask. Huh? No, I don't. I have no idea why you asked that. All right. So one thing that's very important for Tomb of Horrors, have lots of restore staves. I have one on Lilanette. I have one on Ash. I have a Matron on Ash. Probably should have one on Varg as well, honestly. But that would force me to get rid of one of my other. Ah, <sighs> maybe I don't need the barrier stuff on Varg. Maybe it's better to have a restore, because again, I can get hit by Curse of Misogyny in this chapter and all of my dudes will get silenced, so. Yo, Kayla, how you doing? So, we finally have a dancer. We have Sari. She joins you on this map. And what a good unit she is. She is a dancer. She can do everything that Angolus can. Uh, she has better speed than him, I think. She can get more avoidance in the end. Uh, she has charm, so that's three extra damage to allies within two tiles, which is really nice. And she also buffs two defense and two attack to any units she dances for, which can be nice. So I'm happy to have Sari. She can also use the rings, so definitely slap them on her. She also has higher base HP. Yeah, she definitely can become, like, I think Angolus is probably the better unit since he has Charisma. But Sari's pretty good, too. She's a nice replacement dancer. And I'm also bringing Natalie to this chapter because I plan to train her a lot. I plan to train her a lot. Sorry, a support with Angolus is good. Yeah, I wish I could get it. I wish I could get it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is how I'm spreading out my units. Jaka, Varg, Sorry, Caroline, Natalie, and Haley in the north group. Helga, Tendaris, Lilinette, Ash, Bjarki, and Halfton in the bottom group. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. And yes, summon your Drake card in this chapter. Why? The Sage has a restore staff. It's very good. What the hell happened? The tomb has a will of its own. It will attempt to hinder us. Pathwise will open at close at random intervals. That's just wonderful. So where should we begin searching for this animal amulet? The ancient pharaohs would often keep the treasure underneath their thrones. That's where we should begin looking. Have your units move on to them. And I'm sure these undead creatures won't just let us walk in and take it. I never said this would be easy. All right, we also get Darius uh, in this chapter. Probably top three units, maybe like number two best unit in the game after Helga. Darius is insane, good basis, very tanky, a little slow, um, but he has bargain, so he can uh, buy things for half price. This doesn't really come into play that much. He has two leadership stars. He can use dark magic, but he can also summon his trusty, Skeleton Companion, Ahmed! Look here on the wall, someone left a message. Our expedition into this tomb has been a complete and utter failure. To anyone who reads this, please turn back at once while you can. If you're hell-bent on venturing onto this place, bring torches. The darkness will kill you just as sure as any monster might. A wraith lurks in this halls, bent on destruction of all life. He cannot be killed, avoid him. If you see him, run. So, um, we have, uh, sorry I can already support with Darius, which is kind of nice. I'm probably going to do that right away. Uh, and we also have Hof Hofton Bjarki finally have their A support, which is fantastic. And H Tendarius Helga, too. So that's very nice. I think I'm going to send, yeah, I'm also, by the way, popping the boots on Tendarius right here. Six move on Tendarius is so nice. Hi, Helga. Ah, Tandaris, what is it? Just looking after you. I don't need anyone to look after me. Go away. Come on, it's not every day you can have a dragon as your personal bodyguard. I don't need a bodyguard. I can defend myself. I don't doubt that. So why are you still here? I'm bored. You're fun to talk to. If you're bored, why don't you go fight someone? These insignificant underlings, they hardly pose a challenge. 
So you've decided to annoy me instead? I'm glad you're spending your time, Will. You got it. I'm thankful I can just fly away. You forgot I can fly too, Helga. Buddy, and he just got a pair of boots. <laughs> Alright. So we'll send Helga over here. And uh, I think we'll start by... Yeah, we're definitely gonna... Okay, so we, we have... Uh, I'm gonna start by, like illuminating this entire section. I'm going to illuminate places where Nemesis spawns so I can see where he is. Oh, I thought that would actually unlock. Okay, interesting. So, I'm going to barrier up Hofton and Bjarki, obviously, because they're so good together. This chapter has infinite reinforcements. No, but if you take too long, there's going to be poison gas. So, you better be careful. Better be careful. Now, I don't think there's any point in using the Holy Axe right away. I'll save that for when it becomes more relevant. Uh, what is wrong? Another battle and I still live. Sometimes I wonder if there's anyone out there who will give me the death I seek. You kill your enemies too quickly. I'm a berserker, it's what I do. I refuse to hold back. That would bring shame on my ancestors. Hmm, I see. Damn it, Bjarki. Will I end up dang dying shamefully in a bed? I don't wish to go to Helheim. I want to drink and celebrate with my honored ancestors. You will, I am certain. How do you know? I accept your request. You will fight me once this is over? Yes. What made you change your mind? Does it matter? <laughs> I suppose not. All right then, Bjarki Ragnarsson. After this war is over, we shall meet in battle to the death. You better win it, you hear? I'll never forgive you otherwise. I'm long overdue to meet my ancestors at this rate. I shall try my best. I'm looking forward to it. May our fight be a good one. Fight for glory. And die with honor. Now, this was actually supposed to change the epilogue, but that was just something that got scrapped. Um, so, Bjarki and Hofton were supposed to fight at the epilogue if they got an A support, but it just, like, it never got... It never got implemented. Also, uh, Bjarki gets 15% crit from this, so he is now essentially a Berserker. Which is really damn good. And Ahmed spawned with- Oh, I got Rune Sword Ahmed. Let's go. Let's go. I got Rune Sword Ahmed. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we're going to... Uh, oh, I didn't bring a barrier on Brodig, really? That's kind of sad. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop the support with Sari. Greetings, Lady Sari. How do you fare? Passably well, Darius, and you? Oh, I'm getting by. Did you want something? Do I need an excuse to talk to my friend? You despise small talk. Whatever gave you that idea? Darius, I've known you for a while. You talk to people when you want something. So spit it out. Tell me what you want. There is someone at court back in Styxia who is actively working against me. He's trying to win influence with those who would rather see me deposed. I see. Why don't you just have him assassinated? I could, but that would have political ramifications. I see where this is going. But maybe you could turn on some of your charms. I've heard rumors he's quite fond of the Purple Veil. That will be a very costly mission. I'm the king now, sorry. I have a coin to spare. That's fair enough, but know that my rights have tripled. Oh. Ooh. I have can't... Ooh. This support triggers too early. Final, final ROM coming next year. <laughs> I don't even remember what your old rates used to be. However, I'm sure it will be worthwhile. Thank you, sorry. No thanks needed. I'm just ensure I'm compensated. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, so I'm gonna give Natalie a fiery charm here. Final, final ROM. Final, final, super final ROM, guys. Five, five. No, don't crit! No! Ahmed! Why would you do this? That one was for Natalie, you idiot. Ah. That one was for Natalie, you idiot. Well, we're gonna let her deal with this guy. He'll probably go for Ahmed, though. Let's be real. Um, so, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go here with Varg. And I'm gonna illuminate over here to see if we can find Nemesis. Mang's top. Talk about Ahmed. I mean, he's a summon. He's ridiculously strong. He can't die. He cures status effects. Probably the best unit in the game. I mean, I, I consider him like part of Darius' toolkit. So, yeah, he's pretty damn strong. 
All right, so I think what I'm going to do, uh, I'm probably going to send, send most of my units this way to begin with. But I am going to put Healy here with a Holy Bow. Jaka, a moment of your time. Varg, right? Is there a problem? I've been searching for the Tomb of Horus for a while. You have my thanks for talking, talk, take, for talk, taking me to it and ending my search. But this is no ordinary tomb. It's called a Tomb of Horrors. I feel that statement is a given. You speak the truth. Since you saved me a lot of time, I want to help you. Let me give you some advice, Jacka. There's a living... This is a living tomb made of magic. It can rearrange itself to try and cut off invaders from the outside. Can such a thing truly exist? The reason I came to this tomb is to acquire Dark Holmes Regalia. Hundreds of years ago, a certain bastard stole it from our coffers. Our Aurelis Darkholm. He believed he was Darkholm's rightful heir. He stole the tome and used it to kill a thousand of our high mages. Then he vanished, and his name was cursed, stricken from the ledgers. Now we refer to him only by his title, Nemesis. I see. So you believe he entered a tomb and became trapped, dying inside? Now your house's regale is lying on the ground somewhere? Nemesis is not dead. He still draws breath. He has bound his existence to the Tomb of Horrors. He has harnessed his power to gain length in life. But he is only a shadow of his former self. Seven hells, you give me the chills, Varg. If you see Nemesis, run. Do not try to fight him. He is a foe beyond you. So we're helpless if he shows his face? He has bound his life to the five soul anchors hidden within the tomb. If we can destroy them, Nemesis will weaken enough for us to defeat him. I hope to put him down and wrest the Void Flare from his undying clutches. But since he draws his power from the tomb, it may not be possible. We'll have to keep an eye out for those five soul anchors, then. If we can weaken him, then he won't be able to kill us easily, at least. You may have to make sacrifices. Throw your weakest men at him. They will die, but it might slow him no uh, down enough for you to escape. Yeah, let's call that plan B. Suit yourself. Resident Evil 3 moment, yeah. Manx, I found how mimics work disappointing. Why? What's disappointing about them? What, you, what don't you like about the mimics? On a Manx stream, this is plan A! <laughs> Jasir and Sorkia donated 50 Nio through Super Chat. You gotta show the quote between Ahmed and Kandax. Oh, I intend to. Oh, I intend to. Please don't crit, Ahmed. Please don't crit. No! Ahmed! Stop stealing all my kills, goddammit! Hata Kakashi donated two bucks. Have faith in you, Manx. You will not game over. Thanks, Kakashi Senpai. I appreciate it. Ooh, that guy just puked on me. Kill him, Haley. Oh, let's go. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why did he have to spawn with the rune sword? That's actually really good. Okay, at least Natalie can kill here. Oh my goodness, he's so. He's impossible to kill with that rune sir. Alright, it's time for the first curse, ladies and gentlemen. It's time- Oh, base Drake guard, I love it. Oh no, heal me! Don't- You don't need to cure my silence, you dumb- You don't need to cure the silence, use the healing staff on me, I'm a sniper. The Tomb of Horrors will unleash various curses on your units as they explore its dusty holes. On hard difficulty, a new curse, curse will be cast every two turns. On Lunatic, a new curse is cast every single turn, so be careful. Additionally, beware the tomb's changing walls. Don't let your armies get split again. Alright, here we go. First curse! Okay, Curse of Atrophy. Staves disabled. That's actually kind of annoying. I wanted to barrier up Natalie. But, uh, okay. All right, we will use the, uh, okay, that's kind of annoying. What happens on normal? You don't get any curses at all. All right, well, I think I will start by exercising this guy. Is that a gas can? What? This? This is a Pepsi can. How will you restore your silenced archers now? Run over, I know, right? Now, Decent Tomb gives an absolute boatload of experience, but... They are a little bit, uh, I need to make sure I don't... I, 35 crit, all my units have so much crit. It's actually a bit of a problem. Alright, uh, Ahmed, maybe you can not crit now? No? Okay. 
All right. All right. Okay, Ovid. You know what? Maybe I should just let him die. Can we can we get any kills for Natalie at all, please? Any kills for Natalie at all? Thank you. Thank you, Jaka. Very cool. Very cool. So these Tomb Guardians hit really hard, but we did give her a fiery chance, so she has a bunch more crit now, which is nice. Now look at that, 69 experience, nice. Uh, okay. So I think we should probably, okay, so these guys. <laughs> ah, the Beholders, everyone's favorite enemy, right? I have 26 luck on Caroline. She should be able to kill these guys fairly easily. Um, yeah, be careful about the Beholders. They'll backfire on you. But, if you have a unit with decent luck, it shouldn't be a problem at all. Like you can see right here. Is anyone here excited for Dark DD2? Have they learned anything from Dark DD1? That's the question I want to know. I know it sounds a bit pretentious, but, uh, I mean, have they? Alright, so I think... I can't use staves this turn, but I can kill the Mimic with Warg, Warg I'm fairly certain. This guy does 33 damage, so Haley will be able to survive that just fine. That's the first Soul Fragment. My buddy has weakened. And we'll use our Exorcism to kill this chest to get an Eternal Seal. From the looks of it, not in the slightest. Yeah, I mean, they did get Neuromon to make their animations, and Neuromon is like one of the most talented spriters ever, so that's a nice... Like, I have no doubt that the animations of Dark Deity will look very good. But um, if they didn't learn anything from their from the mistakes... Of the, I, I know the first game was rushed, but I don't honestly think that's the only reason why it sucked. I think Dark Deity sucked because, again, like I, I said this before, but... Dark Deity is a Fire Emblem game made by people who don't necessarily understand what makes a good Fire Emblem game. I, I know I know a lot of people are going to be like, Oh, but Manx, you made under the Look. Okay. It is not a great game. The map design sucks balls. And it's just... It, it breaks apart way too easily. Um, really don't want to attack this guy. I'm super scared, you guys. Um... I think I'll send Lilinette over here together with uh, Helga. You know what? I'll barrier up the. Uh, oh, I can't use I can't use staves this turn. But yeah, Dark Deity is a bit of a mess. You saw one bad map and thought they were all like that? No, 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 no. I did not just see one bad map in Dark Deity, my friend. There was, I, there was, there was a lot of bad maps in Dark Deity. Don't you come here. Don't you come here with that. Oh, you show one bad map. There was bad map after bad map after bad map after bad map after bad map. All of them sucked. Look here, there's another message written on the walls. We encounter some strange floating books in a chamber. We touch one, the spirit got wailed and got agitated. Maybe it's word we will try to do harm to them? Look, I don't I don't like to sit here and crap on someone's word because, you know. But it seems to me like they they haven't really learned anything about what made the first game so poorly received by the community. I'll hold I'll withhold judgment until I actually see the finished game. Who knows? I should just use Fire Chan on all my guys, by the way. I have so many of them. Where is the Viking accent? Sorry. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I will try. Alright, I'll talk to Ahmed, why not? Ahmed, I'm going to be relying on you while we're in this tomb. No problem, boss. This friendly skeleton will be your meat shield. I'll throw myself into the grinder to protect you like I always do. Yes, that's very good, but it does cost me mana to summon you. Not to mention a good bit of time. Try to be at least a little careful. Ah, oh, boss, you do care about me. Yes, of course, that much is obvious. Ha! <laughs> we both know I am nothing more than a tool for you to use. Love, devotion, caring. These words don't describe Darius. You just think I'm a convenient idiot to throw at your foes. Oh, Ahmed, that's not true at all. I would die for you. What, you would? Sure. Ha! <laughs> you're lying sack of doo-doo, but thanks for cheering me up. If anyone ever hurts you, I'll make sure they have a bad time. doo 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 You do carry all our hopes and dreams, my good friend. Alright, let's pop a torch. See what we can see. 
And uh, what do we have here? Gotta be very careful with Helga here. Probably want her to have her Nosferatu equipped by default. Oh shit, Lil Nat's gonna get silenced now. Shit, 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 shit. Da na na. Oh. That's, uh, that's an entomb trying to break the wall. Hopes and dreams. Let's go. No, please dodge, please dodge, please dodge. Good, 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 good. If only Darius could die so Ahmed could live. <laughs> oh, boy. Alright, we got some Pharaohs right here. Wolfric donated five bucks. Fun map, Smanx. I can't say anything more about it because the mimics put silence on me. <laughs> Okay, so Tomb of Horus, I will fully admit, this this chapter was more about me having fun than you having fun. I, I had a lot of fun making it. There he is! Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Tendaris doesn't have the best luck! Tendaris doesn't have the best luck! Okay, good. Woo! Yeah. Or make another two bucks. Hopes and dreams, more like copes and memes. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh no, Drake Art Sean, don't backfire on yourself. Drake Art Sean, no backfire. Don't backfire on yourself, Drake Art Sean. Oh no. Curse of weakness. Oh boy. <laughs> oh yeah 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 yeah. Whee! Ah. Now that's a little scary. You're not gonna lie. What's Jaka's luck right now? He's got thirty luck. He should be fine. Even if he backfires twice here, he'll be fine. Maybe I should just use Caroline. Yeah, I think I'll... I think it's probably better to just use Caroline here. Manx, can you unbond my account, Coffee? I already explained myself to Hanako on Discord. I can do it during meme break. Just send me a mail with your... You, you just... Send me a mail with your YouTube URL. And, uh, I can look it up. Alright, nice. Level up for Caroline. The curse mechanic is dumb. No, it's not! It's a great mechanic. Nothing you can say will convince me otherwise. What the? F Zero damage even with effective war. Oh, oh, it's because of the curse. Ah, yes. They take ten less damage this turn. That's a nasty curse, actually. Yep, the Drake Guard is. P Maybe I should rescue the Drake Guard. I feel a little bad for the Drake Guard, you guys. Alright, come on, Natalie, get a crit. You can do it. Yes! Let's go, squish the spider. Oh no. How many curses are there in total? Like 20, I think? In my secrets video, I'll explain all of them. Alright, I do think we'll help out a little bit here. Uh, 50 crit's pretty good. I, I dare say he's probably gonna get a crit. There you go. Send Manx an email with name, address, birth certificate, and cre yeah, credit card especially, guys. I need to know. If you publish it. I'm working on it! I'm working on it! Alright, I think I'll give a fiery chunk to Jaka as well. Oh, I should have traded over. That was kind of dumb. Uh, let's see. I'll, I'll do a short axe on Natalie. Woo! Yeah, I gotta be careful with Darius here, because he will... He will... It is a game over for Darius, so we want to we be cautious here. Okay, I'll put Jaka here. And as for Halion, uh, I guess I can do a... Hmm. I won't really be doing a lot against them, will I? Let's see, let's see, can Vargnos tank? He kinda can. But they're probably just gonna kill Drake Garchan, I imagine, so. 
Yeah. Let's just do a holy bow and heal, I think. Oh, looks like he can only physic. Okay, that's fine. Manx ignored the haters' tomb of horrors is something to be proud of. Look, when I made this chapter, I knew people would- a lot of people would hate it. I don't care. I, I had a lot of fun making it. Okay, uh, ooh, look at that. Holy fire time, let's go. Manx, why did you decide it was a good idea to give limited luminous- uh, eliminate stamps? It's because they give experience, and they're a very cheap way to level your healers. What does Curse of Misogyny do? It, uh... It makes the game better. Uh... Okay, maybe a little net. Okay, wow, she does absolutely nothing here. What the actual... Yeah. I'll barrier up Tendaris for now. Here's the question. How is to Tomb of Horrors... How is Tomb of Horrors from a story perspective? I don't know. I guess it's okay. Alright, well, I can't really hurt this guy Mimic this turn, so I think I'll just, uh... I will, on the other hand, I will heal the Drake Guard, because I do like having this Drake Guard around. It's just nice to have an expendable green unit that can run into the Meat Grinder, you know? Literally one-shotted my Estelle out of nowhere. Well, why didn't he use Torches? It's not my fault that you don't know how to use Torches. Oh, look at this man! Look at this man! Tomb of Horror is garbage from a writing standpoint. The plot bends over backwards to get both Varg and Varus to be there at the exact same time. Alright, man. If you say so. I mean... You're not wrong. <laughs> oh, man, you bend over the, 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 the plot backwards to go to Tomb of Horrors. Yes. Not even, not even ashamed. Not even ashamed of it. Tomb of Horrors is a battle written chapter, not because of clock. Everything's clock's fault, Monaco. Remember the Discord rules we made in secret? Haha. <laughs> I knew that wall would close because I made the map. La 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 la. Uh oh, Drake Archon, no! Drake Archon! No! You were supposed to heal me! I feel bad. Why didn't you use Lilith to rescue the Drake Guard? Damn it, I should have done that. You're right. That was really stupid of me. Why didn't I do that? Ah, oh, I could have rescued her. I could have saved her. I could have fixed her. I'm sad you guys capped at 80. Nothing is better than seeing 80 HP. I don't think your units can go above 80 HP. I think it's a hard cap. No, Drake Guard. Drake Guard. We miss you already. I made the map, but you, you can't keep the great card alive. Maybe I just don't care that much about green units. Oh no, wait, actually this is good. Drake card on death counter. Let's not. Where is Nemesis? He's in the bottom right. You can see him right there. Alright, Drake Guard and uh, I is still doing their little fight. Any backfires? One backfire. Helmet on death counter. <laughs> yep, they're still fighting. But hey, she's keeping the eye busy at least. Alright, we got- oh, we got Poltergeist this turn. Two before us unleashes a curse. Curse of vulnerability. Ten extra damage on Darius this turn. This is a scary-ass curse. This is a scary, scary-ass curse. One we have to be very cautious about. Yeah, we have to be very cautious about this. Quick one is worse. I don't find that to be so bad, actually. Ooh, strength, skill, speed on Ailey. Nice. 
Alright, Natalie, can you kill? Not quite. 43 damage. My goodness, the damage. But if we get some crits with Jaka, it should be a lot more feasible. 43 damage. My goodness. Minus 10% damage reduced, plus 10% damage increase. Yep, feel like a D&D &D map at a certain perspective. Yep. Alright, let's see. Uh, maybe Natalie will go. Oh, he almost one shots her. <laughs> he almost one shots her. Oh! Oh my goodness. That's a lot of damage. But Natalie leveled up, that's all that matters. Magic, skill, speed, luck, and resistance. Let's go. Girls getting better. Each passing turn, ladies and gentlemen. Natalie out of Little Saga, let's go. Thanks, we'll lose Natalie this chapter and go back to Dawn calling it. Nah. I'll be fine. Alright, let's uh, heal Natalie up. You think any of the Andron Saga units can win Choose Your Legends? Uh, no, probably not, because Fire Emblem Heroes players don't play at Romax. But if you're talking about in terms of general design, I don't know, maybe Runa? People do see. Oh, you gotta be shitting me, really? 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 Exact damage? My goodness. Ugh. Well, that sucks. Guess it's gonna have to be a Caroline kill then. Well, that kind of blows. So, I need to get Caroline over to the left here. I'll show you why in a little bit. Alright, here we go. The ring is not here, but at least there's some treasure. Illuminate staff, let's go. Pretty nice. And Nemesis teleports away. So be careful about these poltergeists. They can steal your shit, which is kind of annoying. Are you sure we want to get the throne now? Yeah, sure, why not? What if Nemesis goes top left? Then I'll speak to him with Vark. Not a problem. Alright, if I put Bjarki here, I, I should probably see what's ahead first. I'm gonna use an elixir just to play it safe here. Oh shit, I forgot this guy's an Umbra. Look here on the wall, someone left a message. I think I saw glittering in the sun north of here. The tomb guards drove away off because I couldn't get a good luck. Must remember to go back. Alright, maybe we should try this now? Ugh, that's... Wait, is this a kill? Is this a kill? I don't think so. I do not think so. Alright, I'm gonna start whacking the walls with Ahmed. I like to keep my paths open if possible. Uh, looks like I didn't... Did not bring any lights down here. That's That actually makes me kind of freak, freaked out, not gonna lie. Might be a kill in enemy face. Maybe. He'll probably go for Halfdan, though. 68, okay, yeah. Gotta be careful. Okay, there's the Mimic. Yeah, without light, without a light source, these guys are kind of fumbling in the dark. Oh, okay, alright. He got his status healed. Mangs blindly runs into Nemesis with Andaris. Nah, won't happen. He only, has, he only has three moves, it's fine. Did you give Tandaris the boots? I did, I did, yeah. But I'm trying to spread out so I can find all the soul fragments. This is kind of important. Does Nemesis only have two to four moves in the beginning, or does it? He gets gradually faster. He gets he gets uh, he gets one move on Lunatic every turn, and then on the other difficulties he gets one move every two turns. Actually, no, I think on normal modes he gets once every two turns. On hard mode he gets one move every turn. I think on Lunatic he gets two move every turn. So it's uh, kind of nasty. <gasps> okay, this is fine. Oh boy. Okay, we're good. 
Is it intended for the rings not to give two stats with Sari? Yeah. So whenever she uses her... Yeah, that's actually a good point. Whenever Sari uses her rings, it actually doesn't count as a regular dance. So as a result, you will not get the plus two strength in defense. This is something to keep in mind. It's just a... It's not something we were able to fix, but... Oh, that's a zombie dragon that just spawned. All right. Curse of weakness. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Oh my goodness, this is horrible. Alright, let's uh let's make sure we have the Nosferatu to equip in case there's Are you having fun yet? Oh, so much fun. Okay, we gotta go and get that soul fragment, and then we're gonna send everyone else over here, I think. This is horrible, who made this map? <laughs> I know, right? Who made this map? There we go. I just like to have the pathways open to me, so I like to open all the walls. I think it's a good habit to have, honestly. Let's do a fiery chant on Caroline, why not? It's a nice experience. Nice crit. Let's open up this pathway as well. I don't see Nemesis here anywhere, so I think we should be fine. Alright, I'm gonna try... Huh. Oh, I have Curse of Weakness. But that also means... Wait a minute. I do have healing, so I should be fine here. Maybe Bjarki will even get a crit? That'd be nice. He's in the southwest. He might very well be, yeah. Okay. No, uh... Bob, 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 bob. Okay, I'll kill him on enemy face. It's fine. Actually, this is a little scary. Because he might... Uh, uh, can he rescue? I think I will actually kill with Ash. Oh, God. Hopefully, this is fine. Please don't hit me. I need to kill him this turn, otherwise he'll umbra me, and then the eye can kill me. He got speed. That's good. Uh-oh. 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 Hopefully, Ash will not backfire and kill herself on the eye. That would be bad. That would be really bad. Fake tension. Who is dealing 36 damage? He can deal it to himself. Ash can do a double backfire. That's also a possibility. You never know. Alright, uh, I'll just do a Gale Force kill here, I think. Makes a soy emblem face. I can't even do it. There's something so eerie about the way they look into the camera. Theo Decido donated one and nine to Super Chat. Tomb of Horus, zero percent. This place scarred me after. I am actually working on a 0% lunatic run for the channel. I'm not even joking, guys. I'm not joking. I think it can be done. Does Bethany live with you? No, she's just here for a month. But uh, probably at some point she will. Hit points. Luck, defense, resistance. Alright. Uh, can we kill this guy? Oh, wow. He takes no damage. What? Oh my goodness. Takes so little damage. Okay, can I get something other than Curse of Weakness now, please? That'd be nice. Free cleaning for a month. I know my kitchen is so clean with them in here. It's amazing. <laughs> she may. I have to post a picture of what she made for dinner tonight. It's really good. So she made. Look simple. Well, let me tell you guys. It was really, really fucking good. Let me show you. So she made... Chicken soup. Okay, good. She made chicken soup with bread. It, it, it looks very simple. But I can, I, I'll promise you guys, it was so good. It was so good. She put pasta on it. 
and chicken and chicken broth. And then I had a ton of chili in it. There's like chili spice in it. So it like burned my throat when I ate it. It was so good. I, oh wait, what, 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 what did I lose? What did I, what did you guys steal from me? What did you steal from me? Oh, another Sulpy Dragon? Are you shitting me? Curse of Selfishness? No rescuing allowed? Ooh, that can come at a really bad time. Ooh-wee! Hey, Ellie, let's go. Kill this guy. Yeah, there can be random dragon spawns. Oh, yeah, Bethany didn't bake the bread. No, we bought the bread, but she made the chicken soup, which was really good. Alright, I know there's a tome over there. And uh, what did I lose? Probably like an elixir, right? Yeah, I lost an elixir. But that's okay, we can get that back. Oh, look at that. Exact damage. Beautiful. <laughs> Curse of PH. All units with more than 10 luck are turned to stone for this turn. That would be possible to make, actually. It wouldn't be hard at all. But should we make it? That's the big question. Alright. So we have zombie dragons spawning for us, which is not great. Um, gotta make sure we we used a royal stone on them. Helga, can you kill this guy now? Oh my goodness. If, okay, I do have Lilinette in case this doesn't kill. Or in case she gets silenced. Why did you get a tree use elixir back when you have one use left? This is actually a glitch in the original game. If someone steals an item from you with one use left, you steal it back at full. This is just how the game does its memory. It's really funny, actually. You can you can kind of you can kind of exploit this. Nice, a talisman. You can actually really exploit this. All right, I don't think I need to sil unsilence Tandarius, but. Just in case I want to use the magic stone, it can be nice to not have him be silenced. Yeah, but then he put a fork in the in the soup. Yeah, just just in case. It, it honestly wasn't a bad idea at all. Oh wow, I forgot how amazing the the magic stone is against these guys actually, because they have no rest. There we go. Ba, ba, da, da. All right, I'll just kill this guy with a holy fire. Yeah, this group isn't really getting a whole lot done. Maybe I shouldn't have sent Tandaris and Helga by themselves over here. Okay, Natalie. Let's see if you can get some kills here. Oh my god, what? What? This stupid curse of weakness, man. There's a good chance she could crit, maybe. Ugh. Ugh. Alright, I'll just dance for her. It's gonna be fine. She'll crit. Come on, Natalie. Crit. Dodge. There you go. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Your holy weapon's barely doing anything? Yeah, that's because of the, uh, wait. I think they still have the Curse of Weakness on them. Yeah, they have the defense status for one more turn, actually. So, uh, I'm gonna refresh Fiery Chant. Alright, sorry, level up. Let's go! Hit points, magic, skill, defense, resistance. Beautiful dancer level up right there. That's great. Alright. Okay, if I can get two crits in a row, that'd be really good. Well, that works too, I guess. This is a little scary. This is a little scary. She could get hit here. Uh, I, I don't think I want to risk it. Ah, uh, I kind of want to risk it. Let's risk it. Let's risk it. Let's go. Yo! Yeah. Risk paid off. Curse of hate, fates, everyone's HP drops to one. Hit points, magic, red. My Natalie's not getting the best of level ups at all. She's level six. Look at her. 
I guess it's not terrible, but still. Right, I'm gonna go over here, pop my torch, see what I can see. Curse of Revelation? Yeah, you stop playing the game. Okay, there's the weird, weird sage. We have to speak to him with Caroline. Magnus, did you copy Game of Thrones plot? I would say I copied it, but I took a lot of inspiration from it, for sure. I mean, I, I did used to be a big fan of Game of Thrones before it started sucking. I, I genuinely think that seasons 1 to 4 of Game of Thrones was some of the best television ever. And probably is some of the best television ever to this day. I think very little comes close. However, I also think George R. R. Martin kind of lost his touch after book four, if I'm going to be completely honest. I don't really think the books are any good either. I've read all of them. Breaking Bad is better. Okay, yeah, Bre Breaking Bad is better. The Tomb of Horror unleashes a curse. Okay, no more rescuing allowed. Better, better Call Soul and Breaking Bad are probably my top two, and then maybe I think I'd say Game of Thrones is number three, maybe. Alright, uh, should we go around or should we go this way? I think we're gonna go this way. Okay, so what do we have here? Should we just not tank these guys? I'm not entirely sure. I kinda just wanna break this thing and get out of here. Manx, are you high or something? Volume 5 is great. Maybe it's book. Eh, eh, I don't know, PH. I. I didn't hate it, but I didn't think they were as good as the first three books. Three or four books. I'm sorry, that's just my opinion, man. I I, I think George R. R. Martin did, wasn't quite able to keep it going. I thought book five was pretty boring, I'm not gonna lie. I, I kind of struggled. I, str I, I like had to reread a lot of pages because I zoned out reading it. I just, that's just how I felt. I like the part where Jesse said it's fire, it's cooking time, and died for one experience. <laughs> That's my favorite part of Breaking Bad 2. Mm. I haven't done Game of Thrones books or shows. Which one should I start with? Uh, the first one? No, start with book number three. I mean, well, what kind of question is that? Alright. Let's heal up. And then the one XP unit died next month. Yeah, Sigri was garbage for Iron Man, man. Terrible unit. Hit points magic. Google it. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> My favorite response to anything. Uh, Bjarki, how are your bow rank coming along? Almost S rank in bows. Let's go. Okay, I am feeling a little blind over here, which is not great, but uh, we need to go down and kill this uh, soul fragment, so uh, how, are, how are we doing on barriers? Um, let's re-barrier up Tendaris, I guess, and send him down. That Drake Guard Swordmaster sure is contributing a lot. She's keeping the enemy busy. Alright. So we're moving Tendaris here. I'll equip the Royal Stone on him, I think, because I think there's a zombie dragon around the corner. And then I'll keep uh, Nosferatu on Helga. Let's oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. That wall just spawned in. Okay, Lola, that is completely on her own now. That's kind of scary. Oh, nice crit, Mark. Let's go. They are literally inside the walls. Manx interested to get a job in IT. You're already qualified enough and you know how to Google. I know, right? No matter what question I get, I would just tell him to Google it. Helga became a Walter, let's go. Oh, are we talking about House of the Dragon now? Yeah, I, me and Bethany watched House of the Dragon together. And literally every single scene was just Bethany critiquing dresses. So I love that dress. I hate that dress. I love that dress. I hate that dress. It was just a giant... It was just giant dress review with Bethany every single scene. Hi there. 
that's not true, sweetie. You liked some of them. A few of them. Oh, there he is. Hi, Nemesis. Oh, you stay away from me, you poltergeist. You stay away from me, you poltergeist. Oh, no, Drake Archon. Oh, okay, nice. Good job, Drake Archon. Okay, we got some more enemies coming here. Okay, what curse are we gonna get? Curse of Greed, okay. Alright. I'm pretty lucky with the curses so far, honestly. I don't think I've gotten a single bad one. Which is honestly kind of cool. Oh, I was gonna use a torch, lol. Um, Alright, let's send Amma down here, I think. Oh, oh, right. I, wait. I have to go all the way around, really? Ah, oh, shit. Uh, okay, Caroline's actually kind of stuck in the... I think I'll actually open this door. With Jaka. Yeah, I think I'll open this door with Jaka now. Because I need to get him over to Caroline. Alright, let's open this door. Just to speed things up a little bit. Uh, I think I have a door key. Don't I? What? I don't have a door key? Huh? Oh no. Why don't I have a door key? Well, this kind of sucks. Hmm. Okay. Oh no, I can't... I can't use items. So, okay, there's Nemesis. I think we'll uh, make him teleport away now. Yeah, there he is. He's got plus four move. The ring is not here either, but here are something nice. Rescue staff, let's go. Okay, so how many fragments are left now? I know there's some fragments down here. Let's just illuminate and see what we can see. What does Nemesis do? He kills you. <laughs> That's what he does. <gasps> oh, no. 43. Okay, she takes it. But still, that, that, that's... Gotta, I gotta be very careful about that. Alright, let's kill the book. Boosh. My body has weakened. That's... I think two? I'm not entirely sure, but I think so. Alright, so... How much damage does this guy do? 15. And the skeleton does... What? Oh, is this the bug guy with the dark... <laughs> Yeah, P.H., there's something weird about this guy. He's not supposed to have that, but he gets it all the time for some reason. Two books. But can you name ten books? Mm. Yeah, it's really weird. This guy keeps getting a door claw. It must, might be some memory-related issue. Final, final patch coming soon, guys. Final, final, final patch coming soon. Alright, is this guy gonna try to... Alright, I'm gonna kill this poltergeist before he kills any of my guys. I call him the joke skeleton. That's what he is now, I guess. Alright, well, you know what? Why don't we, uh... I'll give Helga a final barrier. And then we'll send Helga and Pandarus down there to kill the fight. There's like one book to the left that I really need to get. And we need to get the ring for Capri. That's actually really important. So, let's put her here, within range of Tendaris, very good. And let's start, uh, I think I'm just gonna keep Holy Fire on Caroline. The eye can go for her, I'm fine with that. There's an issue with Natalie's A support with John, he plays Sigri's dialogue. Uh, you should just update your ROM, I'm pretty sure I fixed that in the final, final ROM. In the final, final, final ROM, I fixed it, so... Caroline's gonna backfire? No, she's not. She's got 26 luck. She's fine. La 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 Drake Archon's still alive, though. Drake Archon's still alive. 
pretty good. Magnus, can you show off Ash's animations? Yeah, I can. Give me a second. Uh, well, we don't have space for them. But, um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Has... Yeah, here they are. So Nameless actually actually made unique animations for Ash, but we don't have space for them, so it's gonna have to wait for the PH rebuild, I guess, if that ever happens. Oh, it's a video. Uh, I don't know if I can show videos. Might be able to? I might be able to show this. Let me, let me see. I don't think I can. Nah, it's just black. I, I need, I need a, I need, I need it in GIF format. If you want me to, uh, if you want me to show it, I need it in GIF format. If you, if you ask Nameless X to make one, sweetie, he'll probably make one. Yeah, 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 send me a gift, Nameless X. Alright, what's clumsiness? Turn avoid temporarily. So that lasts for three turns. Not a big deal, though, all things considered. Not a big deal at all. Alright, let's go Magic Stone. Okay, Tandaris and Helga are on their own right now, and they don't have torches. That is a bit of a problem. Can we get a unique animations video on YouTube? That would honestly be a pretty cool video, and it wouldn't be that hard to make either. Hit points, strength, magic, speed, defense, and res two rests for Tendaris. Let's go. <gasps> oh no! Oh no. Uh, if I use Holy Fire, he won't hit me. Um. Oh, that's bad. The book is very close, though. The book is very close. So, as long as, like, he will have a very low percent chance to hit me. He'll probably go for Tendaris, though. Oh, shit, there's a Mimic. Okay, can't reach me. Thank goodness. Um, okay, well, do we have rescue with what we do? Uh, I think I might need to get... To get Natalie over here. There's more writing on the wall here. Something strange is lurking in the walls here. It freaks me out. I looked the other way for just a moment, and then suddenly, my torch and keys were gone. What could have taken them? What could have taken them? A little bit scary to do this, but I believe in the Natalie. She's not gonna get hit by this. See? And then she crits. Bam! Do you see what a shit show this chapter? No, it's a great chapter, sweetie. It's the best chapter ever. Hi, right, Ahmed, go break down that wall. Okay, let's see. Uh, holy fire, yeah, that's not gonna do damage to me. That's good. All right, I need to talk to the weird sage and destroy the book. illuminate this area. Okay, so there's the final book I need to kill. Let's illuminate this area as well. Woo! Ooh! Ooh! Ho 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 Yup, we got two dragons over here. Very scary. Very scary. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna do step two in the Claymore thing very soon. You know what? I think it's probably time for Jaka to pop uh, an, that eternal seal that I found earlier. Don't you guys think so? He definitely uses it well, I think. He's level 19, so... 
How many points of free experiences in this one room? I mean, there's not free. You have to kill stuff to get it. I don't know if that satisfies your definition of free, but... But yeah, I think I will, uh... I'll grab that eternal seal. Better to use it sooner rather than later, right? Chuck us down to level 14. That's good. Do... No, give it to Natalie? No, she doesn't need it. She has many levels to grow. We definitely want this angelic robe. Probably for Natalie, I'd say. Honestly, I actually feel like Helheim was a worse chapter than this. Uh, it depends. I, I, Helheim can definitely be more unpredictable, for sure, due to the random spawn. This chapter does have random spawns, too, though. I guess, you know, this, this skeleton's kind of friendly, but he's also experienced, so I'm gonna kill him. The Flame Guard chapter is the worst. I'm gonna try and get Cyrus, too, so that's gonna be interesting. Deoxys donated 500 yen to Super Chat. Since the secret video isn't quite out yet, can you please tell me the Chapter 9 secret objective? P.S. I already googled it. Uh, chapter 9 secret objective. That's uh, that's Gwen Crossing. Uh, that's to get the Gale Shot, I think? Yeah, that's to get the Gale Shot. Uh, so you gotta you gotta kill Liam before chap before turn seven, I think. Air 40 donated 5 euros to Super Shot. I am currently randomizing the playable characters by chapter by chapter. I turned Garum into a boat. <laughs> How do you randomize it? Like, do you just, like, flip a coin or something or do it manually? I would love it if someone could make a randomizer for Alderaan Saga, but it's probably not doable. Actually, randomizing is, is a separate software. Like, the Eunice randomizer. Would it, okay, here's the question. Does anyone have any idea on how to work Eunice Randomizer? Would it be possible to make a Eunice Randomizer for Andron Saga? Because I do believe that's just a separate software that just rotates the classes around, right? So I don't think it would really take any space. Arish. Ah. Uh, he has hit right on Tandaris. This is not good. Oh, yeah, it's to attack Alexander. Never mind. I, I didn't make them. PH did, so I don't know him. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Those are some scary dragons. Those are some scary dragons. Okay, Jocko, don't kill yourself now. Oh, God, this would be a terrible way to end the run. <laughs> this would be a bad way to end the run. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, here comes the curse. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, not more units. Oh boy, this is getting scary. Alright, so. Um, if Caroline has the Void Shield spell, and she talks to the Weird Sage, this will happen. Welcome, Descendant of Claymore. You wish to restore your house? I can sense you've been shielded by an entity from the Dark Void. Your regalia was lost when your grandfather gambled it away. It resides in the house of an old retired merchant from Holtmeyer. Seek him out and he will grant you what is rightfully yours. So he takes away Void Shield. And he teaches you Watchful. And I guess... yeah, okay. Interesting. He teaches you the Watchful skill, which is obviously not great, but you need to have this when you visit a certain house in Holtmeyer. Uh, and then you'll get the Claymore. So, uh, keep your eyes peeled for that, I guess. Okay, I need to heal. Okay, I w wonder, can I reach? Does he have a Physic? He does. Uh, it would be nice if I could reach. I don't know if that's possible, but it would be, would be nice. The Claymore of House Claymore, I know, right? No one ever said I was good at naming things. Okay, nice. Alright, so... If PH ever rebuilds the ROM, so we get more space, Ash will look like this. Ain't 
ain't that something. That would be cool. That would be very cool. That would be very cool. I would like that a lot. PH, you know what you gotta do, man. You know what you gotta do. Alright, so I think if we send... Okay, uh... What's your range with physics days? You can heal... Okay, cool. I can heal Ash from there. Very nice. Uh, let's keep this area illuminated so we can see what's coming from here. Double pH of salary? How do you double zero? What is the random encounter in Hell Hell? It's a very wide question. Okay, all right. We got a lot of... We're kind of spread out here, which is not great. I think this is going to be the tomb we visit. But the problem is, Tandaris and Helgar are kind of like stuck fighting Nemesis here. And there's a freaking nip Mimic here. That might... Si I do have the Matrona on Lilanat. But this is getting very dicey. I, I think Tandaris has an Elixir on him, so that's good. Uh, I have a Matrona on Lilanat, so if she gets silenced... I could attack with Tendis, or at least I could move Tendis in support range. That might help a little bit. Problem is, I'm probably not killing this thing. Um, ugh, this is very, very scary. This is very, very, very scary. I don't like this one bit. Um, maybe I can... Actually, you know what I can do? I can bait Nemesis over here with Ahmed. Yes! If he can reach... Oh! Oh, I could have put him here! Here. I can still do it if I dance. Okay. Um, okay. If I if I rescue Sorry, if I rescue Sorry, I can still do it. Tundaris has his personal skill. I know. I know he has. But let me just and I'll I'll dance for the skeleton. Is Tundaris' skill only strength? No, it's damage actually. It's damage and hit for everyone. But I would love to bait Nemesis into attacking Ahmed over here. While, uh... Okay. There we go. And there we got, we got the tome. I think I'll keep the Holy Fire, like so. And honestly, we'll keep Helga here for the for the mimic as well. Good points, magic, luck, and defense. The holy fire! Is, oh wow, the holy fire is really good, actually. Look at that. So maybe she'll get a crit. Oh wow. Oh, it's not a kill. It's not a kill. I think we got two books left at this point, don't we? Yeah, I think we got two books left at this point. Oh, this is getting a little dicey. There's a, there's a freaking eye here. I hate these guys. I don't like these guys. <laughs> I really don't like these guys. Alright, Holy Bow. Let's go, Bjarki. It would have killed if you'd lined Tandaris up. I know, yeah, with the five damage. It would have been so good. Uh, okay, let's send Tandaris... Uh, sorry, Darius down here. Oh, Gale Force Helga is the best. Oh no! No 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 no! God damn it! I didn't heal her. I didn't heal her. Ah no! I gave her two Draco shield. Ah no! I really wanted that regalia, man. I really wanted that regalia, man. I'm sad. Oh, 
I'm trying to find her on the death counter. Oh, I found the ring. Nice. Gotta make sure Jocka has this in his inventory. Very important. I still have Cyrus. Yeah, this is a good point. If I can get Cyrus, I still have a Hellblazer user. And yep, this is beautiful. Keeping Nemesis occupied like that. I was sure she was healed. Oh, uh, dragons. Oh, don't kill yourself, Ash, please. Do not kill yourself, please. Do not kill yourself. Ah! <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> no! 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 Staves disabled! No! We need to get the fuck out of here. We need to get the fuck out of here, like right now. This is terrible. Oh my goodness. Oh boy, this is going. This is going to shit. This is going to shit! It'd be so good to get the Void Flare, though. It'd be so good to get the Void Flare, though. I believe it can be done. Tandaris and Halga are closing in on their disposition. We can do this. We can do this. Um, how much luck does Halfdan have? Six! That's not good. That is definitely not good. Bjarki. Bjarki, my man. Okay. Woo! I gotta, I gotta reach that throne room before someone dies. What's better, a dusty old book or replaying the last 23 chapters? Well, I want to kill Nemesis. That was a valuable staff user, too. Yeah, Ash was a very valuable staff user, for sure. How many healers do I have left at this point? Not that many. Hit points, magic, and luck for Darius. Let's go. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta get the fuck out of here. We gotta get, we gotta get out of here, guys. We gotta get out. We have to get out. Morg. Morg, can you stay? It's too bad he will die in this match. No, he will not. He absolutely will not. I should have summoned Ahmed. I should have summoned Ahmed. He can't recruit John. Why? Well, no, I still can recruit him with Jaka. I just have to, I just have to avoid him. You only have Varg? No fucking way. Is he the only staff user I have? No, I have Lilinette. What are you talking about? <sighs> okay. Um, hold the lance on Jaka. Oh, shit, this won't even be a kill unless he crits. Ah. Come on. There you go. You can still recruit John, yeah. And I have to, right? Well, one thing is for sure. Um I need to get Ahmed back. So, I need to I need to keep Nemesis in place basically until I can kill him. Why can't you staves this tr Oh. Oh. Stupid map. Okay, there's Nemesis. That's good. Um. Stay here, I guess. Good chapter. I know, right? It's the best. I'm a little bit worried about Bjork and Hofton. There's two dragons on their way to them.
Okay, very nice. At least Caroline's kicking ass up here. That's good. Honestly, I think Caroline can kill the Pharaoh with Holy Fire easily enough. Shouldn't be that hard. Are you feeling it right now, Mr. Manx? I am definitely feeling it. Oh, nice. My favorite item. If I'd given it to Natalie, maybe she would have lived. He's getting destroyed at his own chapter. It's so funny. I'm glad you're having fun. Crimson Phil donated 10 bucks for Super Chat. Easily my third favorite map behind Chapter 17 and Chapter 22. Sorry for cursing your Tendaris walking into Nemesis. Have some Pepsi on me. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate it, Crimson Phil. At least someone likes my shitty chapters. I'm happy about that. Oh, nice. The wall, actually. The wall shut off the zombie dragons from Hofton and uh, Bjorki. That's very good, actually. Yoink! <laughs> Yoink! Oh boy, they're right by the... They're right by the... Oh, they're actually opening the door for me, which is kind of nice. But it's also kind of terrifying. Oh no, not another dragon! Oh no, that's awful. That's terrible. Oh no, I take... Oh. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, fuck off, ice. Okay. Well. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So what should we do now? Well, um, we need to kill this book. I know that there's dragons about somewhere. I just don't know where. Ooh. Let's just keep Tendaris and Helga together, like this, and let's just kill as many things as we can. Um, I say... Darius can still kill this guy, which is very good. Oh, that's a crit. Watch out for the dragons. Yeah. Don't worry, Tendaris with the Royal Stone destroys them. He can, like, one-shot them. Or close to. I do need to check my turn count. Strength, magic, skill, luck, defense, Andarius. Uh, yeah, on turn 25, we get poison gas, so that, that is going to be pretty scary if we... Okay, uh, physics staff on Jaka. I think Darius should have been able to use staves. The worst part is he actually has staff animations in the run. I was considering maybe letting him use staves as a support or something, but he just never really materialized. Okay, Nemesis can now attack over there. I really want to get rid of this Pharaoh, though. So I'm hoping Jaka gets a crit here. That'd be nice. Very good, Jaka. Very good. Yeah, he has animations. Yeah, he does indeed. Um, okay, so I'm actually going to move Ahmed over there to try and lure Nemesis a little bit away. And then... I'm probably gonna just gonna start to break down that wall with Darius in case Caroline needs to help. I think that's the throne I'm gonna go to. Now everyone does need to get out, but I can rescue I can rescue uh, Tendarius and Helga. So I guess I can start doing this. Oh right, hell, interesting. Haley is not in range of the chest. I do want to get that. I do really want to get it. So. Do we have any healing on any of these guys? We do have the elixir, so I think we'll just do this on Marg. I mean, he could he could Nosferatu him up, to be fair, but it's fine. Alright, well, these guys are kind of just chilling out together here, killing terrors, that's fine. Manx, remove Darius staff animations to make room for Ash animations. It sadly doesn't work that way, my friend. You can't just delete things you don't like. If only Fire Emblem Builder was that sophisticated, it is not, I'm afraid to say. Oh, come on, kill this guy! Ah! God damn it. Two bros chilling in a hot crib, file tiles away because they're not gay. <laughs> That's good. That was a good meme. Okay, as long as the dragons don't catch me unaware, I should be good here. Ow. But Mangston looks to Leonis. 
Okay, clock. Like a clockinator. I need to get the fuck out of this place. This is getting bad. More enemies are just gonna keep spawning. At some point, you know I'm gonna get hit with the curse of misogyny or whatnot. Or curse of misandry and get all my guys silenced. Thanks, I went out for pizza and you lose the two people I love the most. I know, I am sorry. There we go, this is why I put Nosferatu on Helga, she's poisoned! Oh, that's terrible. Uh, I checked turn count, I'm on turn 13 or something. Okay, here comes the Mimic. That's not gonna do shit, though. What the hell? Come on, Haley, get a crit. That's not gonna do shit. Imagine if monsters had Liquidus. I was tempted to put Liquidus on monsters in the tomb, but I decided not to. Come on, I'm a dodge, 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 dodge. Okay, there's dragons moping about. Do not- I swear to god, Caroline, if I lose you to a backfire, I am going to scream. Kill these eyes. Kill these eyes. Woo! Okay. What curse are we gonna get this time? What curse are we gonna get this time? Curse of Darkness, Nemesis becomes stronger, okay. That is mildly terrifying. What is the email for sending in memes? Mangsmemes at gmail.com. Oh no, anyway. <laughs> Woo! Sandstorm, I have not gotten the Sandstorm curse even once. Okay, nice. Very nice. We'll equip the Royal Stone. We are very close right now. We are very- there we go. There's the gi- the gimmick? Okay. The mimic, not the gimmick. Well, I guess it is a gimmick of sorts. Um... What does Sandstorm do? It makes people ask what music it is. And then people answer the root Sandstorm. Don't forget to respawn Ahmed. Yeah, oh, oh, I will, I will, I will. I will have to. Uh, let's try and open this door. Doo -doo -doo. This really is a rev chapter? Hey, man. <gasps> no! God damn it! Wait, I have to, I have to task for him now. I put him in the wrong spot. Oh, I could have given him Dark Him to give him extra avoid. That honestly would have been quite the play. That actually would have would have been a pretty good play. Did Mimic have three range? No, no, it just looked like it. It did not. So how much stronger did he get? Quite a lot stronger, actually. I think it's like plus three to most. Oh my goodness, this fucking Pharaoh. Haley, can you please? Actually, maybe it's better if I just use an Exorcism on this guy. I could try this, but there's a chance she will not kill. In fact, there's a very good chance she will not kill. So I'm going to try instead to kill this guy. And then maybe I can just kill the gimmick. The mimic, I mean. The mimic. <laughs> I keep calling them gimmicks. <laughs> Come on, Haley, please crit. Oh, I love you. Let's go. Kill the gimmick. Gonna get silenced. It's gonna get silenced. It's gonna get silenced. 100% he's gonna get silenced. Alright, um. So here's a funny idea. Wait, where's my elixir? Is it stolen? Okay, so far, Bjarke and Hofdan are doing well. Elixir's in the convoy. Oh yeah, I guess it is. Okay, I 
can't really do damage to that thing. That's okay, though. Oh, Ash had it. Oh, yeah, she did, didn't she? Okay, well, that's okay. I'll visit the throne very soon. Okay, I will keep you next. Okay, I'll, I'll heal up Kaylee just because I'm tired. She's kind of squishy. I'll kill I'll kill the gimmick the mim the mimic very soon. Probably next turn. Okay, Caroline, can you kill the Tomb Guardian? I think she can. I'll use an elixir just to heal one. <laughs> just to heal one HP. Uh just to heal one HP. Bro. <laughs> I'm scared, okay? I'm scared. Alright, here we go. Okay, decent damage from Caroline. She'll need a crit, though, probably, to kill, but that's fine. Oh, that's one. Maybe another. Oh, no, never mind. She only needed one crit. Very, very cool. Okay, so now we can trigger. As soon as I kill the book, the last home, I can kill Nemesis. Get him. Get him. Alright, we got the Angelic Robe. Honestly, I feel like Haley is probably a good candidate for this, because her HP is kind of low. You know what would have been a good use of the Angelic Robe? Natalie. Alright, Ahmed, it would be amazing if you could dodge this. Mimic. Blast! Ooh. Yeah, the longer you stay in this tomb, the worse it's gonna get, so I need... No! Oh, that's terrible. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Where's the fucking tomb? I can't see it anymore! No! Oh, that's awful. I can't see shit now. Okay, Varg. Varg, my man, can you illuminate this room? Please tell me. Oh my god, he's not close enough. That's actually terrible. Why is there a sandstorm in a tomb? Stop asking stupid questions. Okay, cool. That actually did help. Oh, very nice. Okay, we got it. We got it, ladies and gentlemen. My body has weakened. Is he vulnerable now? I am vulnerable. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now we just gotta kill the fucker. Now we just gotta kill him. He can't summon onto tiles he can't see. That's hilarious. Okay. So the question is right now... Do we have a torch in the convoy? I think we do. I don't have torches? Are you shitting me? Come on! Okay, Darius has one torch left. Okay, so what we gotta do now is we gotta get Jaka over there. We gotta kill Nemesis. I think he can do it. That would be very nice. That means I could trigger the throne without... Okay, and then we'll do this. There he is. There he is. Ooh, this is good. Good chance to kill here. Come on, get him. Get him. Oh, come on, just one crit, Jaka. Just one crit. Just one crit. One crit. One crit! Come on! Come on! One crit, my man. That's all I'm asking for. <laughs> Caroline is, uh, okay. I'm obviously not gonna step on the throne right now. Oof. This is not making me feel very good. I think we have to walk around here, actually. And then, what does this guy have? Oh, a dark him. I kind of want that, not gonna lie. 
Let's just do a uh, holy fire. We're probably gonna kill here. Okay, nice. Random ra dragon on Jaka, run over. Uh, he'll kill Ahmed, so it should be fine. Okay, lovely. We got another dark him. This is perfect. And now let's just clear the way with uh, Halogant and Doris. Imagine not bringing Dawn to kill Nemesis. Yeah, she would have murdered him for sure. <laughs> he just crit Ahmed for 400 damage. What the fuck? Oh. My death counter is too small. At least I got the Void Flare, am I right? Hanako, shut up. Brother Hadrian, you bastard. Of course, if I lose Varg... Hit points, strength, magic. Okay, we got the Void Flare. We'll step on the throne. This must be what we're looking for. There's the Morganis. Uh, I'll keep it on her for now. Gotta be careful. These guys can steal it away. It's just kind of funny. Um, you're not. Why are you not doubling, Darius? Uh, I really would have wanted you to double this, Darius. Why would you train Natalie here? You should have picked Dawn. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Bank should have done this other thing. Blah, 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 blah. I saw you sound like. I saw you sound like. Blah, 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 blah. What to do? I am so smart. I am in the comic section. I know everything Mike should have done. Boo, 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 boo. I'm boo, 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 boo. I mean, I'm so smart, smart, Banks. I am so smart. No. <laughs> uh. Oh boy. Okay. But it's okay. We can... We can get out of here. Just rescue Jaka. Helga. Okay, so Varg is in big trouble and there's absolute... Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, Hoff Dog. This is bad shit. This is bad. This is really, really, really bad. There are terrors everywhere. I need to get... Okay, good job, Hofton. Good job. Keep named Doom Classic. Ah! Oh, it's a Dark Claw guy, thank goodness. I have Nosferatu on Varg though, what am I, why am I so scared? Okay, that's why I'm so scared. Um... <sighs> Crit, maybe? 
That'd be nice. Heal Bjark. You have to heal Varg, my man. I have eight useless for Otto left. It's not gonna hold up for very long. Um, no, I'll longbow with Bjarki, that's what I'll do. Longbow. This guy has a dark claw, so he's not a big deal, really. This guy is kind of a big deal. Does he kill me in one shot? I don't think so. This guy does 44 damage, Bjarki has 14 rests. But he does get less damage from the Hofton support, I'm fairly certain, so... We can try and kill this guy, it'd be nice. I think it might just be better to keep Hofton. I'm gonna do it. Come on, kill him. Kill him. Shit, why did I do that? That's terrible. Now Varg is not gonna heal. Oh my goodness. Uh, get the fuck out of here. Oh god, we got... Okay, please tell me she kills the dragon with extra... Oh my god, Wanda! What? What is this? Okay, um... Holy fire? Okay. Tendaris can kill. The problem is... Tandaris die. Oh boy. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> See Snake? No. Tandaris is not dead. He can probably one-shot the, uh, the zombie dragon. With the Royal Stone? I have no choice. I have to kill it. I absolutely have to kill it. As long as there's not another zombie dragon behind it, I will be fine. maybe. The reason I'm keeping her next to Tandaris is because of the damage. Um, yeah, Helga needs to Nost tank for her gear. Oh, beautiful, that's a crit. That's a, that's a dead spider, lovely. I can still make it out of this stupid tomb. I mean, this great tomb. That's not a bad level at all. That's an eye. Better not be in range. Okay, very good. We have Nos tanking. As long as no unit can one-shot Helga, she's absolutely fine here. Just don't get silenced on females next turn, I swear to god. No curse of misogyny. Please do not pop the curse of misogyny. Wait, actually, the curse the curse doesn't want to happen anymore. Because the tomb's gonna collapse now. Oh shit, there's a magic user who can attack Tandaris. I'm super scared. No, this is exactly what I was scared of. Oh, Varg, I love you! Oh, Varg. Varg, my beloved. Yeah, there is a curse of misogyny, but it's not gonna play anymore. Okay, Terror Gordon for Hofton, that's fine. That's fine. Kill my Tendaris, please. Please don't kill my Tendaris. No. I'm worried about the eye. I'm worried about the eye now. Kill. Please. Please. 
please. Oh my god, I'm so scared right now, you guys. Tigo Savir donated 5 rubles. Remember, guys, whenever you give good advice, he will mock you and receive instant death karma. So keep up the Manx's advice. <laughs> oh, those two dragons are horrifying. Don't you fucking dare, game. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you fucking dare, game. Kill this stupid eye. Oh no, that's a backfire. So she backfired on herself there. You don't see it, though. But I think she took damage. Actually, no, she didn't. Interesting. We have to get out now. The tomb is falling apart. Starting next turn, the tomb will begin to crumble and break. You need to get everyone out before turn 10 counts down. Okay, now we gotta get out. So I think what we do now... Oh, Tendaris, my beloved. Yeah, when Nosferatu backfires, it just deals nothing. No, it just does nothing. Alright, surely she will not backfire twice in a row, right? Thank you. Aren't the zombie dragons here? They're somewhere. Uh, but not- they're not this- they're here somewhere. I think it's probably a good idea to- I can't illuminate, I gotta kill him. Zombie dragon just burst the wall? Yeah, but they're... Um... They're here. Helga and Tandaris are... Are here. Um... Yeah... Well, maybe there's a chance they're in range of the Arky, so I think what I can do here... Is I can keep Nosferatu on Varg. And then we will just physic Bjarki, I guess. Physic him up to full. Hope the maybe the some maybe one of the zombie dragons will go for Bjarki. That's the only thing I can think about. Um. The dragons, but. Draco Symbol will guard the exit, by the way. Nice gimmick. I mean, it's not intentional, but I guess good, good thing that you're enjoying it, I suppose. Alright, come on, Darius, get a crit. Get a crit, Darius. One of the dragons is almost dead, so he might get hit by both the dragons. Oh shit. Yeah, you're right about that. Prepare for death row four. <laughs> oh, start rescuing people. Well, I do have Lilanat, so I can do that. I'm Dark him on Darius, I don't give a shit, I don't want him to die. Oh, beautiful crit. I need to get Ahmed out here, honestly. past few deaths were so sad, they really were. I don't have a Gale Shot user for the endgame now, it sucks. Hit points, strength, speed, luck, defense, let's go. Okay. I just gotta take it slow. Ten turns is a long time. Ten turns is a long time. Turns is a very long time. Let's uh, drink the elixir. Heal ourselves up. We'll be fine. Now, Helga is gonna go. Oh, I really don't like this. Um, can they attack Tandaris? They cannot. So, as long as we keep her here. 
he probably will not hit me, and I could crit here. There's a chance one of the zombie dragons might go for Helga, which would be very good for me. Crit here would be amazing, Helga. Yes! If they go for Helga, that would be very good. They won't one-shot her, no. Oh. I have to make it around here somehow. Hopefully there's no more no more enemies in range of half done. Just crit, bro. Get his crit. Hey man, that's how it works. Oh shit. Oh! Okay, he heals up all that damage, which is very good. He heals up all that damage, which is very good. At least I think he does? Yeah, he does. Beautiful. He went for work, just like I hoped he would. Thank goodness for Nosferatu, man. Yeah, this dragon is injured, but he goes for Bjarki. So the, both of those dragons are dealt with now, which is good. So we've only gotten three dragons total, so... Ten turns. Reinforcements have arrived. Okay. So I think the best thing we can do is probably... I think I have an Illuminate Staff on me, so I can probably grab that for Lilinet. I will- oh my god. <laughs> Scary enemy right here. I have no vision, I know. I have an Illuminate Staff in the convoy. In front of Jones at home. I have an Illuminate Staff in the convoy, so I can grab that. I don't think I need the Matrona anymore, anyway. I have actually three Illuminate Staffs in the convoy. Alright, let's uh, see what's ahead here. The escape part was so unnecessary. You are unnecessary, and yet you are here. Um, let's see. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Toxic streamer, let's go. Max defending his cringy escape missions. <laughs> They're good! Alright, Ahmed, let's get him out. Oh boy. They're all waiting for me, look. They're all waiting for me. Okay, so we can do... We can kill one of these guys. And gale force our way out. Why don't Tundaris and Halga go left and up? Um, because they're right by the exit. Just look at it. It's right here. If he didn't make this trapper, he would have been screaming how, how badly designed it is. That's probably true. That is probably true. still have this fucker. Um, probably a good idea to just let Halfton deal with that. I do need to heal. Yeah, I need to heal Halfton. Like so. Quarter Dawn. Yeah, he's about to become Quarter Dawn if this doesn't, uh, if I don't get out of here. Oh my. Are you serious? Really? Okay, screw this, screw this. I'm probably just gonna have to rescue these guys with Linnet, honestly. Longbow won't do shit. Makes you feel better, Manx. This would be a great rev map. 
Rev would not have the creativity to come up with something like this. Alright, let's equip the Holy Axe on Yarki. And let's just pray that there's nothing in the shadows to kill Hofton. La, 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 la. This is totally a rev map. I would have loved rev if this was here. <sighs> oh boy. Hofton will get his wish granted. Why does he have an exorcism? Why does he have exorcism? There better not be another monster. Be I cannot lose Varg. I cannot lose Varg. There better not be anything. There better not be anything else beyond that wall. Okay, thank goodness. Alright. Okay, we need to go, we need to go, we need to go, we need to go. There is no honor dying here. I don't think Halfton would be satisfied. You put it on him, bro. <laughs> okay, let's just get out of here. Let's just get out of here. Move, 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 move. And I think it might be possible for us to maybe reach some of the other guys with Physic if we move a little closer. Yeah, I, th I think probably the best thing we can do right now is try our best. Okay, Magic Stone actually kills there. Based, let's go. Last Unicorn die or game over. Yeah, I'm going to rescue these guys with a rescue staff from Lonette, I think. She can definitely reach them. Does Hofton have an offspring? Uh, not that we know of, but maybe. Who knows? Maybe you'll get to, maybe you'll get to know them at some point. In Almodel Saga 2, you never know. Okay, let's uh, start killing some zombies with Holga. We gotta clear the. Oh, base crit, thank you. How many rescue staffs do I have left? Quite a lot, actually, because they go to combo when a unit dies. The sun is full down. Uh, so I am really, really scared right now. Tried to keep Varg somewhere where he can't get sniped from the walls while just healing up Hofton, and we're just gonna have to like rescue them with Lilanat. As soon as we clear the path, it should be should be doable. Okay, let us heal up uh we have two rescues left. I obviously don't want to waste them, so I'll grab a fresh one so we can hammer them, maybe. And then uh, maybe a recover staff. Actually, I don't need to spam recovers with Lilanat. She's max level. Well, imagine Siege Tomes on this map. No, I don't want Siege Tomes. Siege Tomes garbage. Bad mechanic. Max, check what turn it is. Uh, it won't, like... It's nowhere near turn 25. I know that much. My internal turn clock is telling me this much. Hit points, magic, and rests. Just feel the turn count. Okay, I'm feeling the turn count. It is 17. Almost? Not bad, eh? Can I reach these guys now? I can. So this is what we'll do. Uh, we'll pick up... Uh, okay, I'll heal with Varg first. And then I'll rescue him to save a use. Hit points. Skill. There we go. Rescue him, get two units with one, which is very good. Physic at one range, very nice. Hey man! Hey man. 
I tried my best, okay? Yeah, Varg is not getting great levels, I will admit. Not great at all. Mr. Manx video with Fire Emblem vs. Advanced Wars is discussed, at which point it says... I've, I've answered that question a lot, like, do I like Fire Emblem or Advanced Wars more? To be honest, I've had a big Advanced Wars phase that's lasted for maybe two years, and now I'm kind of feeling more like... Undertale Saga definitely got me a little bit more positive towards Fire Emblem. Also, Reboot Camp ended up not being a very good remake, and it could have... I feel like it could have revived the series, it didn't. It just kind of brought guys back to it temporarily. And I'm a little bit salty about that. I'm a little bit salty about that. I really wish that Reboot Camp was a stable staple. Reboot Camp is fine, what's the problem? It was a, a fine enough remake, your friend, but... Aw, oh, sweet. It was a fine enough remake, but... Very bad multiplayer support. Which is what I was kind of looking forward to. Alright, let's send Ahmed in. Oh boy. I don't remember if Helga proc Galeforce this turn. Did she? I do not remember. Let's drop, uh... Oh, she can support Hofdan. Should she? I don't think she should. <gasps> Varg is low. Oh no. She already proc it, okay. Reboot Camp had amazing music portrait art, but I also hate the map art, and it didn't do enough to pop out enough. The problem I have with Reboot Camp is that, one, it was a $60 game. It really shouldn't have been. If they'd sold it as a $20 game or a $30 game, I would have been a lot more lenient towards it, but they sold it as a AAA game. And in many aspects, it was a D-make. What do I mean by that? The graphics are, in my opinion, objectionably worse, because it's hard to spot the difference between units. If you ask me, would you rather play a match with me in the Reboot Camp or in the GBA? I would rather play Advanced Wars with you on the GBA, because I, I think the graphics are better. I, I don't think it's just nostalgia, I think they are objectively better. Two, you could play with four players on the GBA, if you use the link cab cable. With the DS, you can only play with two players, and you can only play with people you have friend codes with. Which is kind of shit. Actually, can you play four player? Uh, you can. I guess you can play four player, hot seat. But yeah, it's not great. And switch, you can play with four player. Okay, I guess you can. Um, anyway, let's rescue here. Mm. Hot take: Not all Nintendo games are worth sixty. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I feel like Advanced Wars Reboot Camp was basically a 3DS game ported to the Switch and sold for 60 bucks. Should have been 40 at most. Yeah, exactly. You just can't play four players online. Yeah, exactly. Manx, are you still doing a Reboot Camp video? I'm gonna do it at some point. I just... I need to gather my thoughts on it. Because I'm, I'm really not sure what I want to say about it. I don't want it to just be a video about me complaining about the Reboot Camp. But I feel like I have to make it at some point. If you could put a uh, price tag on uh, on Andron Saga, how much would it cost? Uh, how much did they sell the GBA games for back in the day? Like 20 bucks? I feel like it should cost as much as GBA Fire Emblem cost when it came out. I think I would have been okay with that. There's a lot of fucking terrors here, what the hell? 20 bucks is fine. 776 euros, yeah, actually. You should be you should be paid for playing. <laughs> Grease Loy, you're fucking sad. Grease Joe, you're fucking. Sa oh my goodness, that's a lot of monies. What the fuck is this? Uh, why are there so many of them? Are there so many? Uh, Vark just can't, doesn't need to heal. He can. Um. Shit, that's a lot of fucking. That's a lot of pharaohs. I gotta kill as many of them as possible. Mm 
great map design as always. Mark's gonna leave the chat. He's gonna use Nosferatu to kill himself, Bob. Don't worry about it. The Pharaoh's Curse. Where Bjarki at? Uh, he, he's here somewhere. Yeah, he's, he's here. Okay, now. Now that the Pharaoh... Okay, so... Ken Varg. We stand next to... Oh my god, it's Nosferatu. It's almost broken. This Nosferatu is almost broken, you guys. Tiago Xavier donated two rubles to Superjet. Breaking news! Manx has an eternal clock. I do, it's not always right, but it is there. Oh boy. Uh, okay, so Darius. Should we get... We should totally get Ahmed out. Oh yeah, we're gonna get Ahmed out and we're gonna try to kill a Pharaoh with him. Just don't get Rune Sword, please. Scimitar. That works for me. That's good enough for me. Let's go. Crit? Yes! Maybe dodge here? That'd be cool. Actually, a rune sword almond would actually be pretty good. Ah, oh, he didn't kill. That's sad. Gotta use Caroline to kill the last one. Dance for Lilinette. I don't think she needs to be danced for. Yeah, they can't reach her, it's fine. Probably better to dance. I'm gonna do a fiery chant on Halfton to increase his crit rate. And we got quite a lot of these guys remaining. I'm actually not a big fan. Um, let's use Holy Axe here. Oh, sorry, he's probably gonna die, isn't she? Sorry, dead. Not if I can put Helga in front of her. I can block with Helga. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I can block with Helga, and I absolutely will. I got 14 Nosferatus left, and she can kill her. Thank goodness. Hopefully, they can't kill any other one of my guys. One of them will go for Ahmed. For sure, and kill him most likely. We've got a Pharaoh left. I'm a little scared here. These guys hit hard. Okay, good. He went for Ahmed. If he do oh, dodged this Ahmed, come on. Oh, that would have been so cool if he dodged. Okay, very good, very good. Crit here would be nice. Job, Caroline. Are the paladins bare feet? I just realized this. It looks like she's not wearing. Okay, I should not have said that. Chad, ignore that statement. Feet, 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 feet. You have alerted the horde. You have alerted the horde. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you oh god! Oh. Oh, bah, 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 bah. Oh, who 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 made these monsters, man? Oh my god. <laughs> to everyone who got traumatized by Tomb of Horrors, do you feel validated watching me suffer in my own from my own creation? Do you feel good, guys? Was was this? Did this did this validate your emotions? A little bit, okay. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm glad. This is Carthartic. It's a complicated word. Carthartic. Oh, don't forget the Kuiper Ring. Oh, I have it. I have it. And my convoy. Hit point, strength, skill, and luck. Lovely. Ooh. Get a crit, get a crit, get a crit, get a crit, get a crit. Mm -mm. Uh. Who 
died. Uh, no one. Absolutely no one died. Deathless stream, actually. Ignore the death counter. It's fake news. Thirty people died. No, that's just the the cast of Amano Saga. Ooh, I don't like those crit rates. I don't like those crit rates. Ooh, these pharaohs are kind of scary, man. They got a lot of crit. Man, that chapter drag. It, it does. It does last a little long, doesn't it? Valid criticism. Valid criticism. Hunter <laughs> is looking more like a grand style. It, it just, I just felt like having every playable character on Omen on Saga, you know, on display. She's clearly wearing boots. Okay, that's good. That's good. Isn't the ring supposed to be on Draka? Uh, he should definitely have it on him, but he doesn't need to have it on him until the Gaiden chapter. So it's okay to have it in Convoy. Alright, I think we can escape next turn. Do you need Kepri's ring in the convoy? Uh, you can have it on Jaka. I'm not reading that. All right, Borg, take the recover. He'll he'll full he'll half done up to full done, and we can finally leave this accursed chapter. Hopefully, nothing bad will happen in the next two turns. Woo Let's get Darius out of here. Actually, we should we should uh we should summon Amen. And honestly, just to be safe, I'm going to grab no not the talisman. I'm going to grab the uh, ring and the more who has the Morganis? I think I think Ca Caroline has it actually. Go. All right, Tomb of Horrors, we are out of here. Yeah, I'm going to make a character ranking video at some point, trust me. Minx Oof wants to know which... Shut up, Hanako. Someone's going to make an armpit tier list at some point. You know it's true. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh my god, that was a horrible experience. Best chapter ever. <laughs> what a shame I couldn't have spent years studying this dude. So much knowledge lost. I'm out. What about the others? Huh, I knew that stupid tomb would not become my grave. I almost died under the falling rubble. That would have hurt. Good thing I'm okay. Oh, my bone toe. I stubbed it on a rock. Rats. It's always some bull spit going wrong. I thought there was a unit down there. Oh, my goodness. Oh! Phew, that was too close. We were almost buried. I never imagined the tomb would attempt to destroy itself to take us down. It must have really wanted to keep whatever we took. Ha! <laughs> but it failed. Morganus Amulet is our property now. And with it, my father's fate is sealed. I hope you're right. I'll write in the others. We should move out before the sun sets. Agreed. Hey, boss. You okay? I stubbed my freaking toe on the way out. By the sands, it had to be a pinky toe, too. What a bummer. I'm just fine, Ahmed. Well, now we have obtained Morganis amulet. Now I only need to kill the king and initiate myself as ruler. Then all my plans can come to fruition. You do know we still have to whack the old man, right? Even if you weaken him, he's still one tough dog. He might totally wipe the floor with us. We could die. Well, not me. I can just come back to life, but you will. I've accounted for everything. My father won't see us coming. We need to move quickly before he wises us up. Let's get going. You're the boss, boss. <laughs> oh, what a chapter. Best chapter ever. Oh. Woo. We're gonna do memes. Yeah, we're gonna do memes. Oh, boy.
perfect meme music. Let's go. Oop. Sorry, I had to log into my... Oh, what? The fuck? Ah! Sorry, I was gonna set my config. There you go. I know you guys love this. I know you guys love this song. Oh boy, it's got a lot of memes today. Copyright? Hmm, do you think the copyright would kick in? You think the copyright would kick in? Really? I don't know, it's a cover song. I, I would think that falls under fair use. At least I hope so, but then again, expecting YouTube copyright to be logical is a stretch. Do it, no balls. Fire Emblem spells in 3D, hell. The hell is kind of boring, don't you think? Let's spice it up. People who know, people who don't know. I, I am in the category of people who don't know, I think. I have no idea what this means. Do -do 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 -do. Go. Let's see, those memes are for Alice, so we'll ignore them. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, let's see, there we go. Let's see. Review. <laughs> if Intelligent System weren't always busting a nut over Fire Emblem in the 3DS era, Fire Emblem Reboot Camp. For the 3DS? That would have been cool, actually. Yeah, an advanced source for the 3DS would have been amazing. <laughs> I think I've seen it before, but it's still funny. It's still funny. We'll, we'll, we'll listen to this during meme review. <laughs> I am Island of the Coyotes, man. Guys, look, it's Hilda and Claude from Fire Emblem Three House. <laughs> oh, iconic characters. Rate my unit. Oh, you got Randall? You actually figured out how to get him. That's impressive. Of course you can't get Randall. It's a lie. Tomb Horror will collapse in ten, <laughs> 10 turns. The Tomb of Horrors unleashes a curse. Casual players when they finally find more guns. <laughs> that's a great one. Oh, that's a good meme. Tomb of Horrors is the worst chapter of the game. Worst chapter so far. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's very good. No, I swear to God, if one more person sends me the shitty FE4 video, I don't want to watch it. It's not funny. I watched it. It wasn't funny. Stop sending it to me. It has nothing to do with the stream. Everyone keeps sending me this stupid F4 video. Hanako among them. Hello, Theodore from Andron Saga. Hello, Cecilia from Fire Emblem 6. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, that was actually pretty good. Do, 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 wait, where did the other memes go? Huh? Where did the other memes go? They not get download blocked? Why? Huh? Google thought it was a virus. That's weird. All right, anyway, let's fix now. Can't, um, Philippe, you tried sending me a video. I can't view videos. You're gonna have to upload it as an unlisted video. And don't just send me a link, man. Like, tell me what the video is and, like, make sure it's not copyrighted. 
because you know how it is. I play two seconds of a copyrighted music, the entire stream gets demonetized. It's such a good system. Thanks, YouTube. Oh, wow, we got Art of Runa's Mom. I think you guys will really like this one. Hey. Okay, we got a... <laughs> I said to Don't Forget, no, it was an island of the coyotes, man. Feet, 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 feet. That's, that's you, chat. On Little Saga during release date, on Little Saga after 10 Iron Man streams. <laughs> uh, it's over, Game of Thrones. I am the Fantasy King. You underestimate my popularity, don't try it. Even at its heyday, Game of Thrones cannot touch Lord of the Rings. I'm sorry, Lord of the Rings is the undisputed number one fantasy trilogy ever created. Nothing could ever touch it. Game of Thrones in its heydays does fall almost inside the same level of greatness, though. Damn! Now I understand why Varga... Wait, he left the village, didn't he? Um... Now I understand why Varg has shit tastes, because he left. I don't know what I'm. Well, I don't know where I'm going with this. She actually used to have blue hair, but we changed it to brown. Only start creating lore after you already finished half of a series, so keep adding stuff a decade after. Steal 90% of your deep lore from real life history and other authors to fill out your world map. Create an entire universe with a bloody theological history with hundreds of characters and dozens of devastating wars, then write a children book. <laughs> very accurate, very accurate. Random follower, Manx, what happened to Baudimon? <laughs> That's really good! Look at that! That's really well made. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Stupid weed. The features of the map turn against Mangus. Mangus making Tomb of Horrors. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Violent <Kung -Kung's gone. laughs> of the Coyotes, man. <laughs> Good memes today. <laughs> Void flare. Uh, the girl you like, her mother, her brother, her cousin, her ancestor. <laughs> <laughs> I okay, that was actually pretty good. Uh, Alright, we'll do one more. We gotta go kill Kangex. Spoilers? Not really. I mean, it's not spoiler to say that Mortimer and Brianna are cousins. I mean, come on, we're in chapter 25 at this point. You're allowed to discuss... You're allowed to discuss what's gone on up until now. I mean, come on. Early the next morning, Jaka and Darius return to Quadim. This time, they plan to bring the entire company along. While this may cost them a few issues, they want to be ready in case their attack on Kangax goes south. Even after they assassinate the king, they will still need to clean up his remaining loyalists and supporters. Yeah, we, honestly, I'm not too... Obviously, if you come in and spoil just to be an asshole, I'll probably kick you because, you know, you're being an asshole about it, but no, you can discuss. Like, try not to, like, blatantly spoil, but I'm not super strict on it anymore. Alright, let's go over the plan one last time. Can't hurt. My father knows Tendaris, so he and, he and the rest must stay out in the hole. Jaka, you and I will go in my to going to see my father. When I give the signal, I'll wrap my spare through his heart. Right, but make sure you wait for me to activate Morgana's amulet. If you don't, my father might die, but he'll revive it in under an hour. The whole castle will descend upon us like piranhas upon a carcass. Once you return, we'll be buried six feet under the, underneath the dune sea. I'll keep my wings cloaked and my eyes shrouded. I can place a simple illusion spell on you to change your appearance. Ah, Helga, it's so refreshing to talk to a smart woman. Are you implying most women are stupid? This is the most female response I've ever seen. This is like me talking to Bethany. It's like, man, Bethany... Oh, the food was so good today. Oh, do you imply the other foods that I made was, was bad? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh, you look so pretty today. Oh, are you? Oh, so I was ugly. So I was ugly yesterday. Really? <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> no, but I certainly must have the art of stomping on my tongue. Yes, Tandar, it's you and me both. <laughs> you do make such a cute couple. Jock, I'll hurt you. <laughs> Prince Darius, please waste wait a moment. Step aside, I'm here to see my father. Of course, but first, the Grand Necromancer must speak with you. Do bathe? What in the sands does he want? Ah, Prince Darius, so good to see you. Deveith, why have you obstructed me? I must try to report to my father at once. I see in you and your company has returned, that's good. Come closer, I have something to tell you and the mercenary. Uh, what have you... I feel... As expected, you have the amulet. Such a clever boy, but you don't fool me. I'll be taking it for myself. You visit King Gungrets now, don't keep him waiting. Yes, Grand Necromancer. I obey. Kaga mind control moment? Oh yeah. Uh, Helga, did you see that necromancer cast a spell? I did, but I couldn't make out the incantation. This seems... Yeah, we're screwed. Ahmed, shouldn't you be going in with them? Nah, boss told me to stay out here. If things get dicey, I'll ice myself. You couldn't do that? Kill myself? No, you could do if you weren't such a weenie. Both of you shut up, I'm trying to listen. My son, so good to see you again. Hmm? Father, the castle chamber? Ah, what are we? Huh? What happened? I feel nauseous. You're a clever boy, Darius, but not quite clever enough. You almost had me fooled, but the foreigner gave you away. No, the amulet is gone. Father, you thieving. It is, but how? When did it. Devaith, he, influ he influenced me. He made me hand it to him. I've known you hated me for ages. You've been plotting my demise. But until now, I wasn't certain when you would strike at me. That changed when his nor this northern rat stepped into my halls. You are Jaka, also known as the Lord of Lances, yes? How did you find out? You fool! I've had dealings with King Mortimer of Andaron. You don't think I investigate those who enter my palace? He was happy to tell me all about your little feud. Enough talk. I'll kill this corpse now. Please move aside, Darius. No, we've already lost Jaka. We need to find we need to wait for our allies. My father has protected himself. He activated the Quadim formation. And it's the worst case scenario. <laughs> King Mortimer will be so happy when I send him your corpse. You will make a fine peace offering to my future ally, Lord of Lances. Bastard. Not to be an alarmist, but I think the talk went poorly. We overlooked something. Daria screwed up. Yeah, me and the boss share our senses. Turns out Kangox foresaw everything we planned. Who could have predicted a lich doing that, huh? Ahmed, what's the best way for us to get inside the throne room? Kangas must have activated Quadim's sigils. We won't get inside until you break them. It also seems like they're preventing the use of any magical staves in the palace. King Kangas really thought of everything. We're not in here to admire him, Ahmed. Tell us how to overcome this. Oh, that's easy. You just have to find and kill all the Voidwalkers inside the palace. They're the ones channeling the spell. The Voidwalkers? Those are the strange rope men we fought out in the desert. Yep, and you better move quick. My boss is in a sticky situation. <laughs> he could totally die. Whose side are you on? Ahmed's is on Ahmed's side. <laughs> say, would one of you like to crush my skull? The boss can't recall me until I'm dead. Didn't you say you could do that yourself? Yes, but the great meta is a little squeamish around death. It's so final, you know? Such a morbid thing to think about. Well, any takers? Ahmed, nothing would make me happier than shutting you up. Thanks! Warning, Jaka is trapped in this chapter and won't have access to the convoy. You also won't be able to use any magic staves initially, so plan ahead accordingly. Alright. We can bring everyone, that's good. Do we have any slots to spare? One slot to spare. Alright. Alright, let's, um... Arrange our equipment properly. Oh, Mr. T donated four ninety nine. Hey, for five bucks, you should trigger Bethany again. Ah, uh, it's hard to do it on command. <laughs> you know, real misogyny comes to you in the moment. It's not something you can just conjure. You know. 
All right, so Helgan Tundaris over here, Bjarki and Halfdan over here. Uh, actually, Helga should go to the bot and kill the Nomads. I think that's probably for the best. Aisha and Sari here. La la. Dawn can probably, like, solo the side on her own. That should be fine. Five bucks to sleep on the couch, yeah. Now, B Bjaka, I almost said. Bjaka does... <laughs> Jaka does not have uh, his... Um... See, he definitely needs a Holy Lands, that's for sure. And a, and a short spare. And let's give him a... Ooh, let's give him a... Let's give him a Skimitar. I like the Skimitar. And the Elixir on him. Very important for Jaka and Darius to have several healing items on them. Exorcism. Ah, uh, do we need the Doolam? I don't know. I don't think Dark Spikes is particularly good here, but I'll give him a... F I actually kind of like Flux on Darius. I know it sounds a bit stupid, but... The ring? He, Jaka doesn't... Oh, right. Yeah, Jaka should probably have the ring on him, shouldn't he? Yeah, he should, actually. He needs to have the ring on him. Dark Spikes for the other squad? Probably not a bad idea. Oh, a dragon spare for Jaka. Well, he has a Holy Lance. That's honestly... That works. Oh, let's go, Void Flare time! Actually, uh, Helga should have Dark Spikes, not... Helga should have uh, Helga should have dark spikes. Also, I'm gonna give him a full use exorcism. Maybe even a Fenrir or a Ruin. Do I have any more? I need pure water. Maybe a holy symbol on Darius. Honestly, could be nice. There we go, we have Dark Spikes on Varg, and Nosferatu on Varg. I think I'm also gonna put another Holy Symbol on Varg. And it would be nice for him to have some healing once. I'll put a Physic on him for once we kill the Voidwalkers. Dire Thunder on the Lanan, let's go. She can't use Holy Fire yet, sadly. Go. And a oh, I'm gonna definitely get a rescue on the Lanat. I plan to. Uh, I I'm gonna bring the ring into uh, Kongox's throne room, like, immediately. Get a uh, what should we get on Caroline? Probably a Holy Sword is a smart idea, but we do actually there are like quite a lot of droppable elixirs on this map. Rushing the throne is is the way, though you might want to have a restore Matrona handy. Yeah, that's definitely smart. Now, as for the uh, talisman, I'm thinking either s we could probably give it to Halfdan honestly, or Bjarki, uh, or Aisha honestly. Aisha has the HP too. Yeah, you know what? Aisha is really weak against magic. I feel like the talisman might help her a little bit. As for the angelic robe, uh, I'm thinking probably Helga. Because Helga is a little low on HP, and this this could really this really helps her out. There we go. Let's grab the holy axe, dragon axe too on Halfdan for sure. Short Axe, Killer Axe, and an Elixir. No, it's not that she necessarily needs it, but it's it's helpful. And it helps her with lifesteal and everything. Perion Shield, very important to have that, for sure. Dragonstone, Royal Stone, Magic Stone. 
And another elixir for Tyndaris, maybe even a concoction, just so he has one. We gotta bring a chest key, that's actually very important. In fact, uh, yeah, we'll put it on Sari for now, we'll maybe give it, give, give it over to Capri later. Man, I can't believe Haley's dead. What the hell? I can't believe Haley's dead. I lost my gill shot user. That's actually really bad. Oh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna actually put the uh, I'm gonna put the chest keys on Dawn, actually. Because um she doesn't really need anything but the Dawn Collar. <laughs> Dawn Collar is the only weapon she needs. And Aisha, let's give her a Tomahawk, a Sword Reaver, the Dicer for sure, and then a Concoction. And Theodore is gonna get the Dire Thunder. The Dire Thunder and the Elf. Let's give him the Elf Fire. Dragon Spare might be good for him. Holy Lance. Flame Lance might work, actually. Yeah, Flame Lance Theodore is actually pretty nice. He's got 22 magic. Dawn has a chest, all right, yeah. How you love to talk about it, chat. Okay, there we go. All right, so Bjarki Hofdan to this Voidwalker, Tandaris Helena to this Voidwalker. Uh, Aisha Sari to this Voidwalker, Dawn to this Voidwalker. We obviously want to get, actually, yeah, probably want to send Aisha down here to recruit Kepri immediately. We can do that very easily by just placing Aisha here. Uh, might be better to play someone with more rest, though. Don't you have a 5-use chest key? Yeah, put it on Dawn. Alright, let me just see. What kind of supports can I still get? Uh, I'm doing Darius Sari. Helga Vark, maybe? Theodore Dawn. Hmm. Helga Tandaris for sure. I think Helga Vark might be good. Oh, uh, Sari can... Oh, actually, Kepri is the only one who can support with Sari. So it might be good to do Sari, Kepri, A support. Honestly, I should have put the uh, Angelic Robe on Sari, now that I think about it. Would have been nice to try and keep her alive. Yeah, Darius support gives a black gem. This is kind of important, actually. Okay, let's go. Jaka and Darius are in trouble. To rescue them, seek out the four, four void walkers around the castle. Killing them will unlock the door to Kongax's throne room. Once they are dead, you will also be able to use your staves again. To kill Kongax, take the amulet from Devaya to the throne room. Bring it close to the Lich King to weaken his defenses. Should I summon my Drake Guard? Oh yeah, you should. Do you fear death, Lord of Lances? You will. Can we just break through Kongax's formation magic? He's all alone. Mundane weapons cannot pierce the Quadim formation, Jaka. We'll have to wait for our allies to kill the Voidwalkers. In the meantime, we must kill any undead my father throws at us. Why isn't he moving? The formation makes him invincible, but he must stand in place. It's the ultimate defense, but luckily he can't chase us. Trek, you bastard. Alright. Ubunga bunga bunga bunga. I love this tome. Ubunga bunga bunga. So, uh, yeah. Shouldn't be that hard. Dawn can probably murder everything here. Longbow with 25 might. He was Kankas. Uh. Alright, so we want to pull Kepri. Uh, we want to pull her with, uh, Aisha, I think. We'll, we'll just put Aisha right here. Kepri will go for her. We'll recruit her next turn. And that should be fine. Yeah, I'll put Aisha right here. Mm 
And then we'll start moving uh, Helga and, Dari or, and uh, Tandaris down here as well. Oh shit, who can attack her? <gasps> uh, it's fine, she has the Pyrrhon shield. She has the Pyrrhon shield. It's, it's absolutely fine. There we go. Uh, who can support, by the way? Let's find out. Uh, Halfton, Helga, Darius, Varg, sorry. Varg, Helga, sorry, Darius. Uh, hmm, okay. Then Darius can support with Darius, actually. Hmm. Maybe that sounds like a good idea. Mangs, what is the use of the ring? You give it to Capri in the next Gaiden chapter to give her a skill and some stats. Capri can crit Aisha? Uh, oh. Um, yeah, maybe we'll put... I mean, Aisha's pretty... Bulky though, she's 27 luck, dude. I'll put Varg next to her to give, uh, to give, uh, wait, who can attack here? Oh, interesting. I'll put Varg here. Yeah, I'll put Varg here to give her five resistance. And now she has 15, so she should be absolutely fine here. Don't think there's any way Capri's gonna kill her. Do -do -do. Honestly, maybe we'll just send Caroline down here. We also have Lilinette. Actually, no. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'll give her Guardian, too, with Theodore. How's that sound? Can Capri attack Helga? No. She cannot. We'll do this. We'll get Ahmed out, like so. Capri's so cute. Honestly, one of my favorite solo crafter designs. I mean, I know everyone goes Awuga on Aisha, but I think she's <laughs> just a, a, some backstory for Aisha. Aisha, I basically just told solo crafter to design what he wanted, uh, and um, I think Kepri also. But I think Kepri's a really cute design, actually. She's a real one of my favorite female portraits in the run. Actually, she, she looks really good. Uh, let's see. Not much little Annette can do at the moment. I guess she'll just stay put. And I guess I'll do the same thing here. Do, 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 do. I guess a uh, I can do a fiery chant on Caroline for a future crit. Show the Ahmed Kongux dialogue. I will. I probably will. Nice level up here. Very nice. All right. So is this a safe spot for Caroline? I think it is actually. We got some. Ooh, hunting bows. That's actually a little bit scary. Okay. Caroline has a crap ton of defense, though. 25 defense. How much do they do with her? Like, 8, 16, 24. I think she can deal with it. It might be a little scary. Maybe, maybe just a couple of them at first. Could put her in the, in the forest, but then she'll get obliterated by dragons. I'll put her here play it safe. Probably not a bad idea. I'll put her on the stairs. Where she gets a little bit of a void. Caroline is very beefy, but it's probably a smart idea to not play it too recklessly, I'd say. Oh no, Dari. I should help him. Ah, I've been surrounded. Devaith will kill me if I make any moves. What should I do? I'll have to pretend like I'm still on the king's side. Oh wow, crit chance again. Oh wow, he actually hit Dawn, what the hell? <laughs> to be honest, the only female portrait I don't like is Aisha. She's a little over the top, I will admit. A little bit over the top. She is Zelda Crafter's ultimate work. Kill him, Dawn. I don't like Haley because she looks like a dude. Seriously, does people think Haley look manly? I, I really don't get it. She has a bit of a, a stern expression, but I, re I really don't get why people think Haley looks like a dude. It just seems weird to me. She looks a bit manly. Yeah, her, re her redesign definitely made her a bit more manly, but I still don't think she looks like a dude. Come on. Might be the jawline, yeah. Doo -doo -doo. Two zero zero. Ooh! <laughs> Your 
you're not wrong. I mean, she couldn't have killed, but still. La 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 la. Oof. Oh boy. Okay, very nice. Oh, never mind. Uh, the Pyrion shield wasn't even necessary. He's using a hunting bow. But I guess he would have used another bow if I didn't have the Pyrion shield, I suppose. Can anyone recruit Kepri? Yep, Sari and Aisha can. So that's why I sent them down here. Okay, alright. 13 damage with a hunting bow. Not, not insane, but I mean, considering you can't use staves, you do have to be a little careful here. What chapter is this? You can always see the chapter here. On the screen. It's like literally underneath my portrait. Alright, let's go, Dracord! Dracord! Oh! Let's go. Oh, here comes the brave brave sword Drake card. Oh, let's go. Fruit! Why isn't the Drake card in the last three maps? Um, good question. A great question for another time. It will take time to amass powers for my best summons. No matter, these northerners rats are but weak before the sight. It will break my son's resolve down little by little. Alright. We got dudes coming our way here. Do, 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 do. No playable Dragoon is a little bit disappointing. It makes them feel unique to Timaeus, though. Yeah, Pe Kepri will recruit herself automatically when you kill three Voidwalkers. Now, there is a bit, there is something that I did overlook with this, which is a little bit annoying. If you kill the last Voidwalker in enemy phase, Kepri turns blue and gets immediately mocked by the dragons. That's a bit of an oversight. Coming in, Clock PH, Ultimate Cut, Final Rob, next edition. How about you, Sorceress? I'll dice you into pieces. Ah, scary. Where did slave girls grow such big muscles? Slave? Slave! Now you listen here, you scrawny string bean. I ain't no slave, and that's a fact. Those are fighting words. Oh, no, you're not, but that tattoo on your shoulder. Oh, that, well, I used to be one, when a small guy bought me. He released me, and now I go and liberate people far and wide. But it seems like you're one of them highborn nobles, Dixians. You're a baddie who's gotta die. Me? I'm only a palace courtesan. I do serve Prince Darius, though. Does that make me a bad person? Huh, wait, you're on the prince's side? I'm on the prince's side, me and Jaka. Why are we fighting you, dumb broad? Did the stream die? Oh, no. Yeah, just reload, guys. It's fine. I don't know. Huh? Well, that kind of stole my thunder. If I beat you up, Jocko would give me an earful. You gonna join us then and kill the Lich guy? I guess I am. I guess you are. There you go. Ain't gonna have to be more complicated than that, ladies and gentlemen. We're Barack. Let's go. Alright, so we just got Kepri. A welcome addition to our roster. Solid unit. 23 magic, 20 speed, comes with a nice support skill in Lilith's Poise. So, uh, she's very good for, to keep Yunus alive, gives them a bit of extra damage. Can also gain Solidarity through a Secret Event. Um, yeah, there's not much to say about Capri. She's solid damage. You know, Dark and Anima. It works. So, I think what I will do now with Helga is I will use... I will go down here and I'll start attacking this Voidwalker immediately. I think with Dark Spikes, it's... Pretty much a guaranteed kill. Yes, it is. Ooh. She is a bit squishy. A little bit, maybe. Theodore, if he was good. So I'll start to... I definitely want to... Deal with these dragons now, but not both of them at the same time. We'll send Tendaris down here with the Royal Stone. That doesn't look like a spike. Well, not everything can look the way you want it to, mister. How many people overall were working on Andaran Saga? Let me count. So we have, on, on the development team, we have 
Let's see. I'll, I'll do this during enemy phase. It's better done. It's better to do it then. Uh, but this looks like a kill for Capri, I think, with Dark Spikes. Yeah, look at that. Kick rate's not the best, but it's fine. I do like her Palette a lot. It looks really cool. Oh, come on. Really? Great first impression, Capri. Great first impression. Oh, let's use Void Flare. I love Void Flare. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Whoop. Bonk. I think the Void Flare can actually kill Kongoks while he is immune. This is triple damage against him. Alright, Caroline. Let's just use the Shark Spare for now. And then we'll go and kill that Void Walker. Alright, I think we'll just use... Be very careful not to play sorry in range of these dragons. Wood Flare does triple damage to Terror. It does! That's how you can get like 300 damage with Void Flare. It's amazing. Amelia with the Void Flare probably one shots Kangox. Yeah, probably does. Okay, do we want to let Caroline pull one of these dragons? I think we will actually. Um. I think she can deal pretty nice damage to them. Does the Wretch Breath count as Dark Weapon? I don't think it does. Pretty sure it doesn't, actually. Uh, oh, I should have brought Holy Fire against this guy. Oh, well. That's fine. I still have the Ragnarok. Yarky, my man, not doubling. What the hell? What's going on here? Yeah, it's type plus. That's what I thought. My Void Flare was unusable after I killed Nemesis without defeating the books. Is there a reason why? Hmm. Not entirely sure if I'm gonna be complete. It's sound. You couldn't use. The Maybe you got the wrong one by accident. Huh. Sounds like maybe you got the wrong Void Flare by accident, honestly. I mean, that's not supposed to happen, but maybe you found a way to glitch it. So, because, you, you see, the, the Void Flare that Nemesis has is actually a different Void Flare. In the game code, that is. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll play it safe with Caroline here. I can't heal her, so I think it's probably better to just... Probably it was just better to play it safe and go for the Woodwalker in two turns. Um, are there two Void Flares? Yeah, there's one that you get and then there's one that Nemesis uses. And the one that Nemesis uses is locked, locked exclusively to him. So even if you hack it and get it, uh, you're not going to get much out of it. So... I'm not sure. Maybe you found a way to get the glitched Void Flare? That would make, explain why you can't use it. It's weird. Alright, uh, let's see. Just gotta stay out of the way of Oonga Boonga Bali. Very important to do that. Let's see this. These guys should be fairly easy for Draco to kill, but it's probably better to let Darius deal with them, honestly. What I can do with Darius is I can I can swap to an Osferatu once he's finished killing this guy. The Wong Void Flare gives 80 defense. That is very true. However, it's also locked to Nemesis. You can never use it. Manx, do you remember Sakon? No? Who's that? Nemesis just makes me think of Three Houses. Oh yeah, the boss of Three Houses was named Nemesis, wasn't he? I actually forgot all about that. Um, I guess it's okay. Some of these guys will go for, for Ahmed. These nuts! Oh, suck on these nuts! Oh, I fell for it! I fell, I fell for it! Oh my god, I... 
Suck on these nuts. Ahmed can't trade. It's okay. It's okay. Two skeletons can't kill Darius. Not with the not with the Ahmed. Ahmed, can you stop taking kills? Bruh. He's just gonna kill he's gonna kill all of these guys. Yep, he's just gonna kill them all. No experience for Darius. No experience for Darius here, ladies and gentlemen. Poor Darius. Ahmed, <laughs> silence! I crit you. Okay. Oh, oh shit! Wait, I didn't equip a short max on Hofton. No. Monks, does Ahmed get a legendary weapon? No. No. There's no secret Ahmed legendary in the game, guys. Go! My attendees, please kill this guy. The dragons are fucking scary, man. They're the scariest enemy in the game. Bar none. Bar none. It's not even close. Do you do it? Alright, Dawn can kill that void. I can actually, I think I can kill the void walkers within two turns, and then I can get the amulet up. Rescue it immediately. Should be pretty easy to do. Ahmed is a legendary weapon. Yeah, I guess so. Ah, should have put a, should have put a short axe on Halfdown. This was really dumb. But hey, at least Bjarki is here. I don't think he doubles these guys though. Oh, Bjorki, your speed is so bad. Okay, never mind. He does double nightmares. That's good. La 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 la. Okay, looks like Ahmed's done for, guys. I gotta summon him again. Ooh, Drake card, Sean. Don't die. Whoop. Whoop. This regalia is the sandstone. <laughs> Alright, now I'm hoping the Drake card. One of the Drake card. Okay, never mind. They, oh, they actually have elixirs. Okay, that's kind of cool. No, don't kill that guy. Kill the druid. Stupid Drake guard. Sun's bone should ignore defense. Yeah, it should, it should slowly take away. Her. It should poison, honestly. Alright. More people have entered the chat. On that on Saga moment. Uh, Alright, so. I think we can. Yeah, honestly, with. I think we can. Um, yeah, it's the Daedra. Which puts the target to sleep, but it's not that scary in and of itself. Only 46 damage. As long as... Okay, wait, wait. We can't heal Tendaris. That's right. I just remembered. We can't heal him. I guess we're just going to have to do this the slow way. But what I will do is I will use a Dark Spikes here to kill, and then I'll run away. Almost for gore. Yeah. I got an Elixir, so I should be fine here. And I think this guy got a tree range tome? No, he doesn't, actually. I don't really know if Helga can kill him, though. That's the thing. Um... La, 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 la. I guess we'll have to spend another turn doing this. Can somehow get... Can someone get Daedra use it? No, it's it's locked to Devaeth. You can't get it. You cannot get it. go. Here's the thing, though. I'm probably... Is there more than one treasure chest? No, it's just that one. So I can just kill the rogue. Easy. 
So should I kill the skeleton or should I summon Ahmed? I think I'll summon Ahmed. Sounds like a better deal. Enemy rogues inbound. Yeah, they're they have no weapons though. Yo, Manx, what up? The Huntress got stiff? What? What's that even mean? Speak English, man. Is Ahmed Osmodius in disguise? Now, if you have him attack uh, the final boss, there is actually a boss conversation which kind of hints at Ahmed's origins. Or at least, like, teases it. Like, what he really is. Okay, so... This range kind of overlaps, which sucks, but, um... No one can really rescue Tendoris, which kind of sucks. Um, hmm. I guess I'll just move Halga over here. Maybe she can kill with Ragnarok, I don't know. It would be nice if she could get a Holy Fire, honestly. But you go down here. She can kill the Voidwalker probably next turn. Don can kill him this turn, I think. Or maybe, not quite. She doesn't have the crit for it. What? Does Ahmed have conversations with every boss? Oh no, not by a long shot, but he does have some conversations. Mang is Dino Candice? I'm not falling for that. I'm not falling for that. I know I know what that means. I know what that means. I know what that means. Not falling for that, chat. Okay, what if I move over here with Tendaris? I can kill the other dragon. I just gotta make sure he doesn't get killed by these guys. Brave Bow. How much damage? 30 damage? Doesn't sound that scary to me. But I think Daedra plus Dragon probably kills. Unless... No, wait, these guys ignore defense, don't they? Yeah, they do. So what I could do is I could move in with Tendaris. Never mind, he dies. He dies. Hmm. Here's the thing, though. I can lure in... Okay, Aisha can take a hit. But the problem is she can't take a hit from both of these guys. Enemy face them? Yeah, I mean, I could, but... Ah... Uh... Do it, no yolk. That's a great insult. Um, this chapter one up dog appears. <laughs> you know what? I believe in chicken tendies. I believe in chicken tendies. I believe in the chicken tendies. There we go. Then we simply have to get you out of here. Oh shit, okay, no, that is actually fine. That is absolutely fine. Although I am a little worried here if some more guys appear. Hopefully they won't though. Does this guy have a silver bow? Not that scary. Varg can deal with him easily enough. Especially if we put Kep. Actually, maybe I'll just let Kepri deal with him. Yeah, that works. In fact, maybe. No, actually, we'll put her here. We'll put her here with the dark spikes. It's fine. Would you go Claymore for this run? I think I will, actually. It looks like I'm actually gonna get the Claymore once I hit Ch As long as Caroline doesn't die, I should be fine, and it lo doesn't look like she's dying anytime soon. He I heal Tendaris. We serve the Dark Master. You will fail and perish. Nice, Nosferatu. Always appreciate that. It appears that the seal on the door is weakening. That's good, it means our allies are still alive. What is the story behind making the Claymore side quests? Right before release, I put it in without telling anyone on the team, because I wanted to. That's the backstory of it. 
because I love secret, obscure, stupid events. That's why. Why? Eh? Eh? I like it. I hope Tandaris is fine here. I think he is. A Fire Emblem game isn't good unless it has one to four very obscure events. I just, I like, it's a, fi it's a Fire Emblem 4 thing. I, I love the Fire Emblem 4 secret events. I think they are amazing. I love that they're so obscure and random that I wonder if back in the day when it was only available on console and before like really the internet was big. Okay, we're good here. I really wonder if there were anyone who played FE4 who actually discovered the secret events on their own and how, how amazing they must have felt when they did. Like, I imagine someone might have moved Lex onto that, oh, that tile and been like, oh, let's just move him out here to look at the water. And then it's like, actually got the Lex Brave Axe event, and they must have felt like absolute, like, giga chads. Or the Ardent Pursuit Ring. Can you imagine finding that by accident? This guy better not caught me. Woo! He does not quad me. That was a little scary, too. That was a little too spoopy for me, not gonna lie. You don't think anyone found the events? There's a good chance someone did. No! Drake Guard! No! That's my treasure, you sh- That's my treasure, you- Wow. Thanks a lot, Drake Guard. Appreciate it. Come on, Halfton, get a crit. It's our treasure now. The worst part is, it would be possible. We have an event that if Ahmed... If Ahmed picks up a treasure in Tube of Forest, he actually teleports it to Darius's inventory. We could have made any, a similar event for the Drake card. We just couldn't be bothered to it. Wow, a blank level up for Halfton. Okay. All right. Blank level up for Halfton. The magic seal is weakening. I hope they keep it up. Alright, uh, let's go back on the, uh, let's go back here, shall we? Short spear here. And go back. Hi there, little roguey. Full down has finally arrived, you guys. Let's go. Hit boy and strength, magic. Oh boy, she's capping magic. She's capping magic. Oh, the white shard. Nice. She's capping magic. Alright, so that was kind of scary, uh, but should be doable. Okay, yeah. uh, I, I, try, I, I trust Caroline will be able to deal with this. Fenrir is a very scary tome on enemies, but I trust she'll be able to deal with it. Very nice. Why did I bench Dawn twice? Uh, because you're dumb. I don't know. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the Scimitar Swordmaster right here. Gotta be completely honest. I think we need some help killing the last Voidwalker with the Arki and uh, Hoffdom. Yeah, this, this kind of seems a little spoopy to me. A um, little bit spoopy. A little bit spoopy. Okay. That's a kill for Capri for sure. No, wait. This is not Capri. Um, okay, it is possible to pull Devayeth over here, but he does put his target to sleep, which is very scary. Gale Force? Yeah, oh yeah, I can use Gale Force with, uh, with her for sure. Bit scary, but it's not gonna kill me even if I do miss. Lance rank for Theodore. 
I do need to work on his land strength. This is true, actually. This is actually true. Alright, well, um... Honestly, Helga might be fine here. She, I did give her the holy symbol, I think. Because the scimitar doesn't have that much. Okay, it does have some crit. Do I have holy symbol on her? I do not, actually. So, this guy has 47 crit. He's definitely going to crit Helga. Yeah, I need help. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, let's not risk it, I'd say. Let's not risk it. Sword masters can be pretty nasty. Let's send Tandaris down here, just in case Caroline needs help. I don't think she will need it, though, but just to be safe. It's only 25 attack. I guess Helga could probably deal with it. It's not bad, it's just, you know... It doesn't hurt to be safe, you know? Alright, should be fine. Oh, shit, there's a Swordmaster there. Is he in range of Capri? No, he's not. Okay, good. Yeah, the Scimitar is pretty weak, but still, Helga doesn't have a lot of defense. So I really don't want to risk it. I don't know if she could withstand a, a, a Scimitar crit. I think it'd be, be pretty bad for her. Good night, PH. The Lich King will re reign supreme. Your struggle is useless. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Magic resistance. That's it, the seal is almost broken. We need only hold out a little bit longer. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, the short spare is not very good against these guys. So one thing I need to make sure of... I want to try and pull Deveith with Caroline. I don't think he'll hit her with the Holy Fire. And then I can pull the dragon away. Then I can get the Morganis. Use the um, use the rescue with Lulanet. And it should be fine. It's actually not such a bad thing that I'm waiting to kill the four Void Voidwalker. Because it's nice to get the Morganis as close to the throne room as possible. Clink, 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 clink. Take damage, take damage, take damage, take damage. Just don't break the Holy Fire, Caroline, please. I need it against the Vaith. La, 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 la. Nano machine, son. Thanks, you've been doing longer streams lately, okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's nice. Gives me a break from my group. <laughs> I got the stare of death right there. <laughs> uh. It comes so naturally. <laughs> uh, curse of misogyny. I know, right? <laughs> Tom Ball pay the five dollars, yeah. I think the, the five dollars he paid was for that, sweetie. No, 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 no. He's going to help you tuck in, <laughs> you tuck you into bed on the couch. Ugh. That couch doesn't seem good to sleep on. Check for any missed donos. Uh, let me see. I don't think. Brandon Williams donated 4.99. You got me rolling from that dragon soon, man. John Benoit Gay. Why? Don't know five Canadian bucks for Super Chat. Hey, Megs, for years I have watched your awesome videos. I feel like I should really thank you, but after playing Tombs, let's say we're even. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That is funny. Thanks. If you were to add bonus experience, could you balance it by making the unit's growth rates worse? I mean, yeah, if we were to add bonus experience to Andron Saga, we'd need to have very shitty growth rates. Because otherwise, you'd be able to break it apart. 
La -da 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 -da. Shamshir Nomads. Scary. I do like bonus experience as a mechanic. I think it's okay in Path of Radiance. I'm not a big fan of it in Radiant Dawn, but would I want it in my Fire Emblem game? Yeah, probably. Just add Tower of Volney for grinding? No, 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 no. Endless grinding is not good in Fire Emblem. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know there's people out here who like grinding. I think it destroys any challenge because it's all about, like, do you want to grind or not? Got more guys coming in here. All right, so now what we'll do is we'll send in Caroline here and we'll pull in Deveith. How many holy... Oh, we only got one holy fire left. That is actually not great. But you know what? If Caroline gets put to sleep, it's not that big a deal, honestly. Is Sakurai's better than Dawn? Uh, I'd say the Lumina is what really makes him good. Sakurai's has his uses. Dawn is, without question, a better combat unit than Sakurai's, and it's not even close. Alright. Oh, Eternal Seal! Don't mind if I do. Always, always room for more Eternal Seal. How do you get the Lumina? Uh, you ask Sakurai's to be the priest of your wedding. That's how you get it. Oh yeah, Sak is still a phenomenal unit. Let's heal up Darius. Google. <laughs> oh, it's never going away, is it? Can you send stuff to Convoy? Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can send stuff to Convoy. You absolutely can send stuff to Convoy. What have you created? So, uh, but don't worry. We are gonna kill Divaeth next turn. I really wish I had the Holy Fire left. That would have made for like, because I'm pretty sure Caroline's gonna get slept now, which is not great. But oh well, what can you do? All right, uh, let's see. What can we do here? Uh, I think maybe Ragnarok actually does quad. It actually does quad. 24 damage, and honestly, yeah. Let's just attack. I mean. Helga takes 24 times 2 without any issues, and there's a chance she could crit even. So I think we're definitely doing this. Oh, okay. Oh! Oh! Oh, there we go! There we go! Oh, okay. Wow, what a dome. My life is void. Death will not cause me to fear. Hit points, defense, and resistance. Uh, there we go. Elixir obtained. Our allies have broken the seal on the door. Let's join up with them. Wait, Devaith, you useless imbecile, what are you doing out there? You may not need to use staves again. Bring the Morganus amulet into the throne room, closer to Kongux. This will make him vulnerable. Uh, maybe I should have waited a turn, actually. If you lose the Morganus after obtaining it, for example, by sending it to your convoy, the artifact will teleport to this location. Send any unit here to pick it back up. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, maybe I should have waited a little bit, actually. Now the fun starts. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna rescue with Lilinette. So now, what I could do, since I have Varg available, is I could just stand. Nah, it's probably not gonna work. Um, he does 46 damage, 44. Aisha does have a crap ton of health, but she doesn't have much resistance. Varg. I think we will just wait. 
We'll dance with Capri to get her in range to kill the two nomads. Manx, how do you get Randall? Google. <laughs> Just Google it. Just Google it, my friend. Okay, so here's the funny thing. Let's see how the Void Flare... Let's see how the Void Flare does against Kongos, because I think it kills him. I kind of want to check it, you know? Heal Caroline? Uh, she'll be fine. I'm gonna see if I can kill him without the amulet. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can kill him without the amulet. I think I can. <laughs> The Void Flare does triple damage, which is pretty insane. Dude, is that even The Void Flare has 40 might and it triples against Kongox. That's 120 damage. Even with 50 defense, that should be that should be a kill. Or maybe, or at least it should damage him at least. Although he gets 40 luck on the throne, so maybe not. Are you serious? Does this look like the face that jokes? Seventy damage. If it hits, if it hits, that's a big if. Void flare Halga would be broken. Yeah, which is why she doesn't have it. Uh oh. Oh no, Drake card. Careful. You're gonna get killed, Drake card, John. Oh. He tanks two crits like it's nothing. You see, this is why I didn't want to send Helga in there. All regalias deal double damage on effective, not triple. What? That's not true, Hanako. They're triple, I'm fairly certain of it. That's that's wrong, Hanako. That's just wrong. What about Dawn Dawncaller with a cap Magic Dawn might also be able to damage uh, Kongox, actually. I think I think Hanako is spreading misinformation online right now. Oop. You'll have to pry the amulet from my cold dead hands. Uh oh, stinky. And she's asleep. I think you're wrong, Hanako. I think you're wrong, Hanako. He has expertise. Yeah, he takes less damage from criticals. This is true. Please don't kill Caroline. Ah, she'll be fine. No! Okay, thank goodness. That really scared me. I didn't realize, uh... Sorry is pretty tanky though, so it's fine. Alright, uh, hopefully Kepri will be fine here. I think she will. Oh yeah, Caroline lives, it's fine. Okay. All right. Luck and resistance. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. <laughs> that was uh That was something, wasn't it? Um 
Okay, well, we obviously need to get something down here uh, to kill this guy. Or we could try... Okay. Darius, hear me out here, Darius. Can you kill the dragon? I, I know... Oh, wow, you cannot. Hmm. This is getting a little dicey, actually. I think I want Dawn in here. Yeah, mommy, come here. Caroline is so dead? Oh, shit. Uh, right. She is, isn't she? Oh, crap. I completely forgot about Caroline. I could rescue her with the Nars. Uh, yeah, Caroline, you're right. Uh, I could rescue her with Endaris. Yeah, this is actually getting a little nasty. Um, hmm. I need a strong unit like Aisha or something to deal with. Uh, yeah, I need Aisha down here. I think... She chat told Manx multiple times and Egg didn't listen! I was busy! I think Tendis actually lives getting doubled. I think so, too. He only does 46 damage. And Tendaris has 19 rests. So he does actually survive getting doubled, believe it or not. Yeah, okay. So this is what we're going to have to do. Um, we're going to have to get Aisha down there to kill Debeith. Aisha can take him down easily. And then we'll, we'll, we'll just have to... He'll put Tendit to sleep. I know. I, I know that. But it's the only thing we can do right now. We have to save her. We have to save her. Um, we have Physic that can heal Capri at least. That's good. Rip Tandaris. Tandaris will be fine. Hit points and magic. Does Dawn kill the zombie dragon? I think she does. I'm fairly certain she does. The only problem is I can't go into the Unga Bunga Bali range, so... Uh, I'm gonna have to put Dawn here. Kill a skeleton with the Brave Lance probably sounds like a good idea. And then just stay away with everyone else, I think. Let Dawn deal with the dragon and with uh, Kongax's minions. And then we'll see. I think maybe she can deal damage to Kongax. I don't think she kills him. Alright, Darius, level up. Let's go. Hit points, magic, speed, luck, defense, and resistance. Very good Darius level up. Let's go. This is why you give Tandaris boots. I know. I know. If Dawn dies, this run is over. It would be extremely painful. Poor you. Poor you. Uh, maybe I could trick him into going for Kepri? I think he'll probably... I mean, if... Ke okay, actually, maybe I can trick him into going for Theo, because Theo doesn't strike back. So, if I put Theo here with a Holy Lance... Theo has... Wait, who has the, um... Yeah, I think, I think trying to trick him into going for Theo would probably be for the best. Why the hell do you not two have sword weavers? My goodness. Let's get you over to the throne room, away from these stupid sword masters. Alright, time to chug elixirs. No! Oh, actually, he'll kill them! <laughs> Drake Garchan lives! Let's go! Okay, if these hit Dawn, she actually dies. This is actually a little scary, because the zombie dragon does, like, 42 damage to her. So, uh... 
Placing her in range of these skeletons was actually very reckless. If she gets hit by a single one, she's dead. And losing Dawn would be... Probably be the death of this Iron Man. So please do not hit her. Thank you. I know it's 18 hit, but still, I mean, look at this guy. He will not miss her. Alright, Zombie Dragon is down. Kangox will start to shoot shit at us, though. I can only hope he goes for Theo. I really hope he goes for Theo and not for Kandaris. Okay, very good. Aisha, double crit here would be so nice. On. Ah, he goes for the absolute worst. He goes for the absolute worst spot. He goes as far away as he possibly can. This is bad. Oh, this is bad. He doesn't double, though. That's nice. <sighs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, God damn it. How could these weak northerners defeat my Woodwalker elites? Darius, you will not die to kill me here. This lich is an unstoppable devil. Rebirth, my servants. Oh my fucking lord. <laughs> I am so fucked. Wait, okay. Um, one... Okay, um, I will dance for Lilinette and I will rescue Tandaris out of there. It's the only thing I can do at this point. Do you think you're in charge? Not anymore! I was gonna do this quickly, too! Ay, ay, ay. Um... Yeah, not letting Dawn take all of that. That's not happening. That is not happening. I'm putting her on this this pillar right here. And I'm taking Jaka's elixir. She won't get hit on this pillar, that's for sure. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to dance for Lilinette. I'm paranoid, so I'm going to give her Dark Him. Rip Chest. I don't give a shit about the chest. And then I think we can we can rescue... Yeah, we can rescue Chicken Tendis out of there, which is very good. And we got to get him up here somehow and get his amulet closer. The only thing we can do. I think I have a Dragon Axe on Aisha. No, but I have the... Oh my goodness, are you shitting me right now? Uh, Theodore. Dragon Spear? That's not enough. Why do I not have a Dragon... Oh my goodness, what if I gamble? I got 100 crit! 4 times 18. Um... Shit, this is gonna go south. Yeah, no... Wait, I have a Physic. I have a Physic, so... I can try a Dicer. I mean, it'll be, like, a lot of potential damage. I can Physic it later. Or we could do a Gamble Dicer for guaranteed crit, but not guaranteed hit. What are the best odds, I wonder? I think... Hmm. Do we Gamble? Let's fucking Gamble! Let's fucking gamble, boys. One crit. Two crits. Three crits. Four crits. <laughs> Let's go. That's okay, it didn't need to kill, it just needed to weaken. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's called gambling. Alright, I need to get Theodore... Okay, there is a spot which only Deveyath can attack. I need to get him closer. I need to get him... I need to make sure Kepra can kill, though, and she can. She can. There we go. We can do this. Should be a full level for our... Not, not quite, actually. Okay, um... And there is a spot where only Deveyev can attack. I need to get him closer. So I'm going to put Theodore right here. Oh, if only he had a Holy Fire. That'd be so nice. If only... I guess the whole... No. The Flame Lance is Anima, so... Are there no Holy Fires left? This Holy Fire would... Oh, it's so annoying that I don't have Holy Fire. Deveyev has Tellbreaker. Oh, good point. Uh, I'll just equip a Lance then. Well, Tandaris can't release his... Oh, cool, we can actually kill both of these guys with Helga. Good job. Will he sleep and not counter? Yeah, that's the idea. I just gotta get Devayeth closer, so Aisha can brutalize him. Sleeping on Helga? I need Helga to kill these nomads. That's what she's gonna do. All right, I will, this is too tense for me. I, I need a push break. Ah. I am. I am really fucked. Max with here. Yes, I, I grew. Oh, wait. Dawn got hit. Oh, by a zombie dragon. <laughs> like a cat back of neck. <laughs> You're sleeping under the couch, yeah. Can she stop getting crit? Can she stop getting crit? My goodness. What the fuck? Wait, did he miss on Theo? Oh, nice. He missed. Ba ba ba. My void walkers are bound to me. They can never truly be killed. This is the authority wielded by he who has surpassed death. Oh my goodness. 
Oh no, the Void Walkers have returned, but their power is diminished. They will not prevent you from using staves again. Uh oh, but Aisha can reach Divaith this turn. Yeah, she definitely can. Um, I can dance here. Yeah, she can kill him. For sure she can. Especially if I give her a uh, fire chant. Of course, if I do this, I have to make sure. I have to make absolutely sure that Sari gets out of there. Strength, magic, skill, speed. Okay. Alright. Gamble. 19 hit? Okay. Aisha? I believe in you, Aisha. You have to do this. Crit! Crit! Yes! Mm. Again? Yes! Forgive me, King Kongox. I have failed. Oh! Gamble is so bad. It's because it reduces your total hit rate, not your displayed hit rate. Alright, very good. Do not send this to Convoy. Uh, okay, so... What I need to be sure of right now... Oh, Hellguy's out of range. That sucks. Kandar is still sleeping. Thank goodness I sent these Berserkers back, am I right? Ooh, okay. Um... Crit hair would be so good, Hofton. A crit hair would be so good, Hofton. Rescue Helga and use Gale Force. Oh! That is not a bad idea. That is not a bad idea, chat. Wow, good place in chat. Oh, not in range. Would have been a very good play had I been in range. Wood flare here. 92 hit. Not bad. Um, this actually got very scary very quickly, not gonna lie. Uh, there's no more dragons here. No, there's not. Uh, I think we'll do all space here. Come on, Jaka. <laughs> Crit, please. Would have been worked if you were good at fire emblem. <laughs> when I'm in the getting doubled competition and my opponent is half done. It points strength. Uh. What? Oh my goodness, half done. Why? Why? Why are you like this? Oh, that's not gonna fucking work, is it? Um... To be fair, these guys, as long as I kill the Shamshir guy, I should be fine. Yeah, as long as I kill the Shamshir guy, I should be fine. This guy cannot really do much. In fact, neither of these guys can really do that much. I mean, Aisha might get hit, but... Of course, I do have to block with Theodore, so... Yeah, I do have to kill this guy with Theodore. But... I think I can kill both of the Nomads without issue. The problem is, right now, I might have to heal Halfdan, because he's very low. Jaka is dead? Uh, I think he's fine. Kind of annoying that Tandaris is sleeping over there, not gonna lie. Yeah, I need to heal a bunch of guys, actually. This is not good at all. <sighs> Goodness, I wish I could have rescued. Um, oh, Helga. Why aren't you in range, Helga? This is bad. This is really, really, really bad. 
I can pray that Ahmed dodges a couple of blows. That'd be nice. Uh, at the very least, I can ensure that... Okay. So I can... At the very least, I can kill this guy. But the thing is, Bjarki might also kill this guy. If he gets a crit. But if he doesn't, he's dead. So I think it's probably safer to do this. Varg could rescue Helga? Could he now? Dawn doesn't need an elixir. Nothing's gonna hit her. Trade Physic for Rescue? Ah, uh, I don't know. Can she? Oh, yeah. I'm not sure, actually, if he could. Uh, let me check if... I'll need to count this. Uh, let's see, so he can... What's his magic? He has 27, so he will be able to... I don't think he can re I don't think he can reach her, guys. Thirteen range, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thir thirteen. He absolutely can. You're right about that. So, okay. So we'll use Lilinet to heal. Better not be wrong on this chat. So, I think, so normally I would heal half done, but Jaka is a game over, and I don't want him to gang up on him. Haha! -ha! Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Beautiful. That is beautiful. Hofton might get his wish, you're right about that. Okay, that's pretty good, yeah, that's a good play. That's a really good play. Thank you, chat, that was a great advice. So the question is what we do with Capri now, do we... Pop an elixir and run away, or do we let Helga deal with this? I think maybe we pop an elixir and run away. Chad is better at playing the Manx. Some sure are. Not all of them, though. I still think it would be cool to do a chat place. Chat place fire emblem would be pretty cool, but I would need to set up set it up in such a way that it would actually work. Hofton just dies? Eh, hey, not necessarily. Uh, it depends. This guy has an Umbra? It really depends. To be fair, maybe it's better that they go... Maybe it's better that they go for Bjarki. Do you get the chests? No. Certainly did not. All right, so I'm gonna keep. Actually, you know what I could do? I could. Oh, actually, yeah. Look at that. I could put Ahmed right here. <laughs> and then I kill this guy with exorcism. Oh, I could have summoned him back too. That's a good idea. But I think this works better. I think this works better. Because now I'm blocking the Voidwalker, so now Halfdan will only be attacked by an Umbra. And I think he survives that? Yeah, especially considering this guy's going for Bjarki. Uh, so I think Halfdan survives, I'm fairly certain. He's got some nice avoid next to Bjarki. Ooh. Man, this is an intense chapter. Oh my goodness. Yep, look at that. Look at that. Oh boy.
<laughs> that Dracard's still alive. <laughs> still kicking. Soaking up nomads like an absolute Giga Chad. Woo! Yeah, now we'll rescue Aisha up. Trade the Morganis. We have to do that right now. Okay, he's still he's still drinking his elixirs. He's still kicking. No! Enough, I tire of you pesky mortals. It's time to die. Oh no, he's gonna he's gonna summon his eclipse tome now. This is bad. Daddy's prepa, his most devastating spell. We have to get that amulet into his throne room now. Okay. Prepa! Yup! We gotta get that talisman in right the fuck now. Oh, yeah, I gotta trade the staff back to a Lilinette. That's fine. Or I could just use Barg. Do Lilinette have a restar? I, I think Tandaris is just doomed to sit there forever and sleep, guys. Yeah, I think we'll do this. Ooh, I should have waited to attack. But I guess this will have to do. Okay, so, yeah, we need to get the Morganis. I think we'll rescue Aisha. True. Actually, actually, it might be better to just do this. I think I can actually get it into the throne room this turn. Yeah, I totally can. Yes, I totally can. If I then rescue Sari... Actually, I don't need to rescue Sari. There we go. Of course, I still need to kill the dragons. So, uh, oh, I'm one off. I'm one off. I am one off. And I still have two Voidwalkers to kill. This is actually kind of scary. Um, if you just gave it to Capri, you would have been fine. Well, I did. Okay, um, maybe, it, what? Oh my god, it's not enough? It's not enough, what? Oh boy, um, oh boy, this is bad. I'm in a bad situation right now. It's one more tile. <gasps> no! gotta be shitting me right now. No fucking way. No, no, Darius, you wretched spawn of a palace dancer. Oh no, what have I done? Oh no, what have I done? What have I done? <laughs> What have I done? I rushed too hard. Okay. Alright, here's the thing, though. Can I kill him? 35 defense. Probably not. He, he, hmm. Rescue? What should I rescue, though? Jaka kill Kangux? You can use Ahmed, too. These night boys. Um, I have dragon axes. That counts for something, right? Come on, kill him. Half done, please. Half done, please. Half done. Why are you like this? Half done. Why are you like this?
hopped on the one time you need a crit. <laughs> the one time you need a crit, you, you fail to deliver. Oh my goodness, this is so bad. Well, we gotta keep Jock out of harm's way for sure, so let's just kill this guy. Summon with Ahmed? Yeah. Meanwhile, <laughs> Denaris is sleeping with Caroline. Kill the Necro Dragon with Darius? No, no, no. We have to. We have to summon Ahmed this turn. One hundred percent, we have to summon Ahmed this turn. But how are we going to, though? Um, Bjarkic crit Kangax. Believe in the Bjarki crit? <laughs> Two people are dead, most likely, yeah. Um, you have to sack? I think so too. Um, Summon Ahmed and just wait with Bjarki. I could elixir with Bjarki, honestly. Um, yeah, one of them will go. So here's the thing: Can Ahmed take one or two? He can. He can only take one. Okay. So no matter what I do, I'm kind of fucked here. So do I keep Dawn alive or Halfton alive? The problem is, Dawn might also die here. That's the big problem. Um, Alright, I might as well try and kill this guy, I guess. Um, okay. Yep, I'm just gonna have to pray that... Okay. There's gonna be no Dawn in a minute, yep. How did it get so bad? Why not kill Dragon? That's a, honestly a fucking good question, I have no idea. If only Ahmed got a spear, am I right? I don't fucking know, guys. As the King of Styxia, I sentence you to death. Well, at least he got what he wanted. What the fuck did I just do? What the fuck did I just do? I have never clutched this hard in my life. Like Bjarki and Halfdom both went down at the same time. Yep. What? Why? What? What? Huh? Oh no, come on. Ah, Capri. Whew. That was sad. 
Okay, I lost half ton on Capri. That could have gone much worse. I lost half ton on Capri. That that could have gone much worse. My goodness. Okay, fuck this. I'm killing him. Dawn Caller's not effective against Kongox? What a bad game. Okay, apparently it's not over. Let's heal up Jaka here. We gotta kill him this turn. We gotta just throw everything we have at him this turn. Final, final verse. <laughs> Uh, okay, we just gotta kill this guy. I don't care. We just gotta kill him. Ooh. Oh, nice one. Good job, Helga. Okay, we can definitely kill now. Should have killed the dragon with Helga for the Gale Forest. That's a that's a honestly a very 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 fair. That's fair. That's fair. It will be over at chapter 29. Don't worry. Oh no. Oh no. Don't like that crit. Don't got no choice. Okay, time to kill this guy now. Alright, you guys wanted to see- actually, no, I, I cannot show you the Omni code. I need to kill. I always knew you'd betray me, boy. It's in your blood. Your mother was a harlot who left me when you were born. Now her spawn has decided to bite the hand that feeds. I won't let you destroy this country, you half-dead toad. With you gone, my ambitions will finally become possible. Oh, I underestimated you, boy. You're sneakier than you let on. You might even act more violent than me when the time comes. Do your allies know of your true nature? Your hunger? They'll help me kill you. They will serve their purpose. After that, I'll worry about continuing to play nice. Huh. <laughs> Maybe you take after me more than I first thought. Too bad you're about to die. You'd have made a good pawn. I serve no man, and certainly no undead for that matter. And for the record, Father, I don't even hate you at all. This isn't personal. It's just good business. Spoken like a true Styxian. Do your worst, you whelp. That was... That went a lot worse than it should have. No, no, I cannot die here. I'm the mightiest Lich King. I must live. I must surpass Lich Queen, Queen Morganis. Don't you see what you've done, you bastards? Nothing personnel, kid. Hit points, magic, and skill. Royal Gods, hear my words. This battle has concluded. I have slain my father and destroyed his phylactery. Never again will he revive. Throw down your weapons and I will forgive your actions. Otherwise, my allies will kill you without hesitation. There is no room for disobeying your new rightful king. Hmm? But we, we couldn't even locate Kangrex's phylactery. I guess even if- I guess if a white lie will finally end this battle. People of Styxia, from this day forth, I will be your new ruler. I, Darius the Wise, son of Kongax. I, Darius the Wise, son of Kongax, and you shall be my subject. My father was a tyrant who needed to return to Styxia's dunes. Now that he no longer rules us, we must begin a period of rebuilding. I henceforth call an end to the trade of unled slaves with Amlada. Only the willing must be revived. If anything else, anything else is an act of evil. And finally, we shall weaponize the military to aid the Lord of Lances. We must bring down the tyrant king, Mordemur, and enshrine peace for all. Hail King Darius. Boonga la boonga la boonga Bali. Another country's leader dead. That does seem to happen a lot around you, Jaka. Not that I'm complaining. I don't know why he had to lie about the phylactery, though. Congress is going to revive at some point, the truth will come out. It won't matter. Congress' support will have crumbled by then. Darius might be able to find the phylactery's hiding location. If he does, no one will ever learn the truth of the matter. Even if Congress revives, we can kill him once again. Morganis Amulet remains in Darius' possession. Fair enough, I just don't like how he blatantly lied. All great men lie eventually, it's only a matter of degree. 
You should have heard some of the old Lightbringer whoopers. Kaitha's father had quite the mouth on, mouth on him. Congratulation congratulations on the ascension. Must feel good being your own man. Yeah, now the boss doesn't have to sit in his room crying all day. Why don't Daddy let me go outside? This isn't fair. I want to be free. Stixie has a fright future ahead of it, thanks to you. My people owe you a great debt. We always pay with interests. Your people don't owe me a debt, but you do. Helping me will benefit you in any case. Mortimer already killed both of his brothers. Eliminating you will surely come next. Stixia is a hellish land for any invasion force. The harsh heat will break any any enemy armor's morale. That being said, you are correct. I do owe you, Jaka. Stixia's soldiers are yours to command moving forward. At least until we kill that Mortimer fellow. Then we need to focus on fixing this nation. Honestly, it doesn't seem like there's much that needs fixing. My father took our people's wealth to empower himself. I must rectify these wrongs. It is a complex matter. We need to assemble an alliance of nations. It's time for war. Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to quickly do the intro for this. We're going to visit Ahmed's shop, and then we're going to end it at the start of chapter 26. Ooh! With King Kongok slain, Darius becomes the new king of Styxia. True to his word, he promises to help Jaka dethrone Mortimer. After a month of organizing, a war council is held in Quadim. We'll do memes, don't worry about it. My friends, the day has arrived. Styxia's men are ready for war. All of them alive as we agreed. What of the rest of you? Have you finished your preparations? Oh, we'll get to see the unique dialogue now. It took a lot of effort, but I've immobilized an army. It is not a large force, but it will draw Mortimer's gaze. On my command, they will march across the Emperor Mountains. After that, they will attack from the east, causing chaos. I give them strict orders not to harm mounted on civilians. Oh, we'll get the unique Sigrid Didus Jarl dialogue now. I never thought I'd see it. My Harriers and what list left of Clan Scotty is also mobilizing. Some berserkers from Halfdan's clan also offer to join us. Uh, about that! They will sail south, attacking Andalon's coastal supply lines. My Harriers will ensure that no villagers are put to the torch. And what about the Icebreakers? Are they still loyal to their Jarl? And the Icebreakers Jarl fell in battle, thus they will not fight for us. Maybe you should have protected the Jarl if you wanted more time himself. Oh, interesting. There was supposed to be, like, a unique dialogue where she's like, Fuck you, my sister died. Uh... Final, final romp. Here is my plan for how we can breach Andalon's defenses. To start off, our allies will raid Andalon's north and east sides. This will sow confusion and give us a tactical advantage. Then the Styxian army will march, to march towards the Infernal Pass. I hope you're not planning to attack the Infernal Pass. It's impenetrable. A dozen wars have proven this to be true. Not even a hundred thousand men could sunder the flame walls. My late father discovered the flame guard wall has a flaw. I'll show it to you once we arrive at the border. Until then, here are some war funds from the local treasury. If you speak to Ahmed, he will procure you some rare goods. I stole all this crap off the bodies of my dead enemies. You wouldn't believe all the shiny stuff in their pockets. Treasure's infinite, the great Meta's greed knows no limit. If you wish to obtain my wares, you must pay with ample coin. Alright. Speak to Darius when you're ready to go to war. You can also talk to Ahmed to pure purchase rare goods. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Best addition to the game right here. Give me your gold, or else. <laughs> yes, eternal seals. That's what we want. And bra- Oh, wait a minute. We don't have Haley anymore. Maybe some brave weapons? I don't know. Wing clippers could be nice, actually. <laughs> Copyright? I don't think they will be copyrighted. I'm not sure, though. Well, we don't need this ring anymore, that's for sure. Uh, but yeah. Let's sell... We, we need to sell the Master Seals. We have a lot of things to sell. Yeah, we, we can sell every single Master Seal, that's for sure. We don't need them anymore. I think I've already done that, all, honestly. Sorry, Cursed Boots, they kinda suck. I, I don't think there's any point in keeping them. Sell these low-use tomes as well. Actually, the Nosferatu tomes are kind of good, so let's not do that. Aura tome, we can sell that as well. I don't think this will be copyrighted. I don't know 100% with YouTube, but I don't think so.
ba ba da da Okay, there we go. Holy bow. I don't think that will be useful. Actually, it might be for the RG, maybe. Can sell this barrier. Alright, so what do we want here? Uh, probably a wing clipper. That's a good sword. Um... And then we want some Eternal Seals for sure, because they are very good. Uh, Brave Axe can be good for Bjarki. Hmm. Remember 50k for Aubrey? I'd rather have a couple extra Eternal Seals, honestly. We'll take two Eternal Seals for sure. Uh, and then... Maybe that's it? We'll save the rest? We'll save the rest, I think. You also need units. I'll get 50k for Aubrey. I, I'll get 25k from the... I'll get 10, 25k for the Tandaris. Oh, sorry, the, the Darius support. And then I'll find some cash along the way. We'll get 50k for Aubrey, don't worry. Alright, very quick meme review, guys. La 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 All right, Sigrin chapter 20. At this rate, everything will burn. <laughs> Who wants to cut supports we put back in? Who wants to rebuild the... <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. If I was a dancer, that's great. Oh, that's great. will never stop being funny. What if they, them, pussy dust? <laughs> Hello, Frey from Manx Arena. Hello, Aisha from Andron Saga. Gambling, the sure way of getting something for nothing. <laughs> Darius, Belga, Chicken... Darius is Belga and Chicken Tendar. This is... This is the dumbest meme. This was worse than Bredelgard. The best team in Andron Saga. <laughs> That's right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have 10 Nosferatu users in Andron Saga. What the fuck? Aw, oh, look at this. It's Ahmed. Oh, look at him. He's so happy. He's so happy. This is amazing. I love it. <laughs> I'm myself. My face when playing two fours. Oh, that's great. That's great. I prefer the real fantasy champion. I said the real fantasy champion. Perfection. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Real misogyny comes to you at the moment. It's not something you can conjure, you know. <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> When Nemesis gets keeps getting stronger every turn. Oh no. Anyway. <laughs> when there are monsters under your bed, but it's too hot to sleep, so you have to leave one leg outside the blanket. I am vulnerable. <laughs> That's very specific. When you're trying to smite a beholder with holy magic, but it backfires. <laughs> 
When your master can't summon you because he has to kill stuff. <laughs> it's just a picture of the girls. It's just a picture of the girl. I can't believe it never occurred though. That's kind of weird. Alright. And then we have one video meme to end it all. really good. <laughs> That's really good. Alright. Are we ready for war? Yes, we are. I'm ready. We've already entered the reign of one king. Let's add one more notch to that belt of yours. Ooh, let's go. Meanwhile, at Castle Flameguard. Stream dead? What? Our spies report that Stixia finished her preparations. Their troops are marching out of the capital, towards our border. It seems that Jaka have made a friend with yet another foreign ruler. He's like an undying cockroach. The timing is highly inconvenient. I'm close to making a breakthrough. I doubt I'll be able to complete my work before they make it here. You look pale, Brianna. Is everything alright? It's nothing. I'm just worried. Don't be. We have brave men defending our walls. Isn't that right, Cyrus? Oh, hi there, new available promote recruit. They are ready and waiting, yes indeed, Lady Cassandra, but do you truly believe that Jaka plans to attack our walls? The Infernal Pass is the only path they have that leads into Ambaran. Sort of amassing a fleet of ships and sailing around the western edge. It doesn't matter what Jaka wants, this is the only path he can pursue. Even if Jaka throws all his might at our walls, he will not breach them. Darius must have some kind of trick up his, or a secret weapon up his sleeves. We need to figure out what they're up to, General. Guarding the wall is your job. Easy to demand, but difficult to follow. I will do my best to uncover their plot. You look like you have something to say, John. Lady Cassandra, if we are going into battle, I have a request. Yes? This is regarding the morale of our troops. The men are starting to grow uneasy. There are rumors that some of the soldiers are contemplating deserting their posts. Are they such coward that the cowards that the very thought of an invasion scares them? We should have those men executed. Our soldiers will give their lives to defend us. They do not fare battle. However, there have been some troubling rumors going around the castle lately. Many are whispering as to about why our people are being sent down to the dungeons. May I suggest the Lord, Lord Alvaro's work we put on hold until we've defeated Jaka? The king himself has requested I carry on with this research. I cannot stop now. The work must continue no matter what. Nephew, you claim to be developing some kind of weapon, yet refuse to elaborate. If this is something we'll be using in the battle itself, you should inform me now. It will be revealed when the time is right, Uncle. The enemy cannot find out about it. Every single man who is sent down to your dungeon is never seen or heard from again. The soldiers have begun to take notice. All you need to know is that every body has been put to good use. My men are not expendable pawns to be used in your twisted experiments. Cyrus, Cyrus, you forget your place. You do not raise your voice against us. Your brother is no longer here to speak in your defense, so remember your propriety. See if I could ever forget what you did to him. I don't know what you speak of. I loved Sir Gareth until a tragic death did us apart. Hmm, such an ex unexpected tragedy indeed. Alvaro's work continues, and that will be the end of this chat. Now, unless my ears deceive me, I think a visitor has arrived. Your Majesty, thank you for making the journey here. Is this your true body, or is it one of your clones? I am not a clone. I see, and did Galahad Steel Knights travel here with you? They will arrive later. Excellent! With them by our side, Jaka's army could outnumber us ten to one. It does not matter how hard they fight, they will fall in a tide of steel. My king, would you like for us to brief you on the details of our plan so far? No, I'd like a moment alone with my wife. Of course, your highness. Clear the room, everyone. <laughs> That's what a clone would say, yeah. Welcome, Morty. I missed you. I missed you too, Bree. How have you been? Tired, mostly. It's been difficult to sleep properly. My stomach is always in knots. Have you told your mother yet? If everything occurs as you predicted, I won't need to. My mother will never know about our child. Are you truly okay with that? She's your mother, after all. She's a terrible woman, Morty. Vicious, cruel, heartless. 
I love my mother, but Andran would be better off without her. Compared to the sacrifices you've made, I've no reason to complain. We have to make a better world, no matter how high the cost. I've supported you since the first moment you confided in me. Nobody understands you like I do. Once we finish the work, you'll be able to sleep, step out into the light. You won't have to hide the truth from the world any longer. The continent will hate us. Every great ruler is eventually hated. That does not make them less great. You're right. May the ancestor guide us to greatness. May the nine divines chart a power path to the future. Sweet home Alabama. <laughs> so, uh, I think I will probably take a break from streaming on Tuesday and resume this Iron Man run on Friday, guys. Been a lot of streaming lately, and I, uh, I feel like I need a little break. So, I'll see you guys again on Friday. Uh, super short Q&A. Just, uh, like, one or two questions, then I'm heading to bed. How many chapters are left? Uh, like... Uh, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Five chapters. Uh, Project Pitchfork asks, Mangs, would you ever play Andron Saga again? In return, we'd get a new Advanced Wars with good story, campaign, and new ideas. What? I didn't... Uh, let's see. Bethany, sh shut up, sweetie. <laughs> Hanukkah asks, do you think you can win chapter 29? I might be able to, if I if I plan it out properly, yeah. If I can get Aubrey, that would be very, like, if I can amass 50k gold for, like, I'm gonna get 25k from Darius. That puts me up to, like, 35k. So if I can get 15k between then and then, then, yeah, maybe. Getting Aubrey would be nice. She's pretty good. Oof ass, have you noticing the signs of aging in yourself despite being 33 years old? Um, you definitely notice, I mean, like, one thing I notice is that I, I think one of the most, like, one of the most distinct things about hitting 30 is that you absolutely need your sleep. If you get a night of bad sleep, it wrecks you the day after. When you're 20, you don't really give a shit if you have four hours of sleep. You can function just fine the day after. F hell, you can go three or four days with like four hours of sleep when you're in your 20s. When you're in your teens, you can go a whole week with four hours of sleep. Once you hit 30, if you don't get your seven hours, you're just a dead the day after. That is like one of the biggest, re that, that, that's, that's one of the biggest things I'd noticed when I, when I got into my 30s. Um, also asked, Path of Radiance, Iron Man. Uh, yeah, that did won the poll. I feel like I should do like a channel poll on that. One. You know, if you're not, if you don't agree with democracy, you just do a new poll. That's how they did Brexit, right? Gufki asked, Mangus, what is your plan for recruiting Cyrus next chapter? It shouldn't be that hard, honestly. I mean, just you just don't ignore the flame knights. Make sure you don't equip one to range. It's that simple. Wolfric asks, if Andron Saga had two had children in the first game characters, would there be canon pairings? I mean, there are already three. Ilka, Amon, and um, um, the third one. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Alice, I... We're done with memes. Please stop spamming. You're annoying me. Uh, Morukinis asks, does the ROM really need more space for a CMU? You're just replacing the characters already there. Um, if you want to... Some things require texts, some things don't. Um, some things require text, some things require space, other things don't. It's, I don't know, you could maybe be able to do a CMU, but I, I'm not sure. Brandon Williams asks, you forgot the black gem from Darius and Sarapur. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. I also didn't get it in the Tomb of Horus, which is kind of sad. Uh, Raphael asks, Mengs, you have mentioned one time in the past the original ending of Andra Saga was much darker than the one we have right now. Would you be willing to reveal it? I can reveal it right now. Everyone died in Chapter 29. That was the original ending. But the team was like, yeah, let's not do that. So that's... The original game was only supposed to be 29 chapters. Wolfric asks... What is the precise weapon experience gain for things like the Greatsword and Shortsword? Shortsword gives three, Greatsword gives two, Scimitar gives five. So... Uh, 
So, yeah. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, love you guys. Did I miss any donations? Hotaka Kakashi donated two bucks through Super Chat. I'm really sad about the loss of Fire Mommy Ash. Me too. I really need stuff here. <laughs> I need to keep John alive. I need to keep John alive. Honestly, I think what I might do with John is I might just, I might rescue Jokka inside the walls and recruit him. I think that's probably for the best because I really need him right away and I want to train him right away. Uh, Project Pitch 4, yeah, there we go. Dr. Victim donated 50 Swedish crowns through Super Chat. So both Theo and Kepri have an event where they get plus one to all stats and a skill. They're both Mage Knights. Mage Knight bias or coincidence? 100% coincidence. 100% coincidence. Uh, Cristobal asked Mangs, is the Claymore a physical weapon or a magical weapon? It's physical. And we're gonna get it at this point. If I, if I can make it to chapter 29, you will actually see the Claymore. Which would be really cool. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. I don't think there will be a stream on Tuesday. I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye-bye.